Okay, welcome to One Stop Co-op Shop. Steve here with my lovely wife, Kim. Hi, everybody. We're here to play a one of my favorite dungeon crawls out there. Actually, probably my favorite, uh, Sword and Sorcery. It's been a while since you played this one. Yeah, I'm just going to go in. I don't remember anything, so let me relearn this. <laughs> relearn the game, yeah. yes. So this is your, your standard like fantasy trope. Dungeon Crawl game. It is long. Not quite Gloomhaven long, for sure. <laughs> Nothing's really Gloomhaven long, to be honest. Uh, but it's it's got a lot going to it. A lot of pieces. And we just got the Ancient Chronicles, which is the new content for this game. However, we thought we'd try to be, make this fairly spoiler-free and show you the game in the old uh, campaign. So this is the campaign from the first Kickstarter. It's called Immortal Souls. But what we did is we took the new content, the new characters, and we kind of mixed it in. So we'll be able to show you the new additions to the game and the new, new things going on while not spoiling the actual story itself. Now, if you don't care about the story, don't care about spoilers, uh, Colin will be doing a playthrough of this on the other channel. So that's happening next week sometime, I believe. So, but yeah. And we are here. We're going to run through it. And you know what? I actually forgot to grab... The actual miniatures. So I will have to do that. Awkward. <laughs> awkward, awkward. Like, I have everything out. A lot but, of not a, not but not characters. the miniatures. I'll grab the characters in a second. Okay. But in this game, we are playing as heroes, and it's all quest-driven. So there is a, a quest book here. And so this storybook will show tell you um, basically how to set up the board and what needs to be done. And then in addition to that, there is also a... Uh, Book of Secrets, it's called. The Book of Secrets is, is uh, well, it tells you the stuff you don't want to know as you're playing the game, basically. It's go there's going to be a reference here and there throughout the playthrough, but basically it'll say, hey, when you get to this point in the map, go to paragraph 1.2 and read what it says. And so that is like the spoiler section of it. But like I said, this is the previous campaign. If you do get the new stuff, you won't be spoiled here. I think we should talk about our characters, and we'll have to teach the game, but I'll teach the game as we play, so there's a lot going on in this game. That much I do remember. You do? <laughs> yeah, I remember that much. Yes. So if you want, Kim, you can uh, throw your character underneath this uh, uh, the, the close-up camera, and then what? while you do that, I will this, grab... the whole board thing? Yeah, whatever. Just, or maybe just show your character card, and we can talk about what it does while I grab those characters. Well, um, I don't really know what she does, but I am playing this lady. What's her name? Steven? Uh, it's on her card. Sigrid. Sigrid. Oh, I put the wrong thing out. See, clearly I don't know what I'm doing. All right. This lady. So Steve explained her to me like Lady Thor. So she's strong and just uh, powerful. So I went, okay, cool, I'll do that. And then I'm sure she has other special things. Um, I did pick up two cards for setup. Um, one of them being the Breath of, what does that say? Breath of Njord. Okay. Um, so I can heal. I thought that would be helpful. And You're then, playing healer, and I'm not. I know what is going it's, on. It's reverse. This isn't. This isn't us. And then I grab some um, boots of speed. Sorry, <laughs> but you're I, a runner. So you're fast. A runner, so I'm fast. Yep. I felt so like maybe... I was going to add to your three speed down here. So it would be four speed. Oh, nice. You're fast with me. I'm just going to run around and heal you because I know you're going to need it. <laughs> yeah, well, the other thing to keep in mind is a couple of things important about this. In the top section, you see there's an F and an S. And these are your classes. And so that's going, going to dictate what you can choose for items and powers. And then down here you have how many how much equipment you can carry. Uh, this is what you need to roll for a save throw. So things will say, hey, roll for save and see what happens. And like I said, this is your movement, how fast you can move. Okay. Are you going to sit down or just do half your face on the screen? No, I'm going to have my face on the screen. Okay. okay. I know, because Mike was like this way and you can do like this way. <laughs> yeah, I know, do the other way. So that's who you're playing as. I'm playing as an alchemist, Robin. So these are new characters, so I'm all about chemistry. Oh, the other thing I should mention is there's alignment in this game as well. So Kim is playing as the lawful alignment. So you can see right below a picture, there's a picture of two uh, angel wings, kind of. 
Oh, so your good alignment. My alignment has an angel wing and a devil horn, one of each, so I'm kind of I'm neutral. And then the opposite is having two devil horns, which is the unlawful chaos alignment, something like that. Um, so different cards will reference that. Also, when you play through the game, it's suggested that you um, do things that uh, align to your alignment. However, how I like playing it, I just like to roleplay. He just does whatever he wants to do. I do whatever do. I want to do. So if I think my character would do Is this, this going to help us win the game? No. I'm doing it anyway. Okay. <laughs> exactly. So, um, Also, those... Uh... I was thinking when we were playing Pandemic Legacy, you, you had to search that area. I had to. I had to. Um, anyway. But yes, yeah, so the alignment also dictates your the powers you can pick as well. And so the big thing about this game, it's, it's all based upon uh, your level. So your level is dictated by a soul gem, it's called. And right now we're starting from ground zero, so we're at soul rank one. You can see in the middle of this, it's got a Roman number one. Noob. Noob, yep. <laughs> the heart is showing me how much health I have, so I have five health. The fist that's red is your attack, so every round when I take my turn, I can do an attack action. And then the yellow triangle is actions. How many actions can you do in your turn? Um, and then there is a two with a. I don't know how to describe that. This this funky uh, I don't know, tr what is it? triangle, fish crossing triangle thing. That's how many powers you can have. So the Celtic knot. Yes, that's right, Celtic knot. Thank the you. The Celtic knot. I knew <laughs> that's it. what that is. <laughs> that's exactly what it is. I can't remember what. Fish crossing. I know. I don't care. It's one of those Teamwork. <laughs> Teamwork. Yeah. So I get to choose two powers when I start. Um, Kim started with one power and one talent. And so as we as we level up, and I'll just rotate this real quick to see how all those numbers adjust. And you get more and more stuff as you go. It's kind Pretty. of a nice little piece. It is. It is very nice. So that keeps all your stats in one place. Um, so I need to pick two powers. And Kim already showed you what she picked. So I'm going to show you what I'm debating on. I've got a couple options here. And so for the alchemist, uh, there are he's got a lot of fun powers. I I'm really excited to play him. Play him. Uh, I want to change turn him to a, a range character. So I think I'm going to choose this accurate shot for one. Of them. I'm not sure I'm going to choose it right away. So this will let me uh, not move. Hence this that's what this symbol means up here. And basically, it's going to let me um, have a greater chance of hitting and get critical with a bow attack. So I have to get a bow for this. That's one thing I want to do. The other one I want to do is this ability here where I can get vials. And these vials are double-sided cards. Here's what they are. There's a bunch of them. And it'll let me have some type of concoction, and I can basically throw them to do various effects. Get, like speed us up, slow them down, poison people, or all sorts of fun little tricks in my sleeve. Tricky one. So, uh, and then the... Smoke bomb. Smoke bomb! The other one I want to do is a somersault. So this is really nice. When I if they're attacking me, I can roll a die. There's a chance I can just ignore the attack and die. By the way, which is pretty cool. The last one is interesting. Is an elk a chemical bile. So what this does, and maybe you want me to pick this one, is I can spend an action and then I can start building out my own potions. And so how it works with him is you have these little tokens. Should I just call you Walter White. Yeah, Walter White. Sure. What's your name. So I'll spend like five gold, I get this piece. And then what I can do is I can spend another five gold, get this other piece. And I can spend another ten gold, get this last piece. And then I can create my own vial, basically. I don't have to complete the full vial, but I can create whatever I want. And then I can give this to anybody in my spot. So uh, the nice thing is I can remove body conditions on here, which is super beneficial. So let's say get rid of poison and all stuff on bad things. I can heal with it. Um, actions and defense and damage. So all sorts of fun things. So that's the other thing. So it's between those four, so I'm trying to debate on which two to get. Since you already grabbed healing, I'm less inclined to grab the, the one that lets me heal, even though it does give body conditions. So do you want me to stay back and do some uh, bow attacks? I'm going to let you do whatever will make you happy. Okay. I don't know what's <laughs> going to make me happy. Maybe I'll do this. I'll do the bow attack. Can you shoot your friends in this game? Um, No, I don't think there's any friendly fire. Okay, then, yeah, you can just fire away. Yeah, I don't it's think it's any kind of fire. I think I'll choose these two. Accurate shot and this chemical knowledge. So, I'm squishy, so hopefully you can protect me. Okay, I didn't so... know what you meant by that at first. I was like, what? It means I, I don't have much health. I, I got it. <laughs> don't I have much health. Okay, so that is the character I am playing. 
Um, the other thing I'll mention too, as I'm going to go through and I drop the piece in the ground, uh, is this is the character board, which is looking weird in my green screen. But the main thing is over here tells us what we have for defense, and I'll explain what that means for everyone. But the nice thing is about this game is in Immortal Souls, you you had to get armor to have some defense values, and this one's printed on the board because you have native resistances and defenses. So it's changed a bit in that regard. Okay. Yeah, let's play. What are we doing? We are playing the prologue for the first quest. Okay. So there's a lot on the board. You can't see the whole board. It extends out this direction. And we'll we'll move the board and clean it up as we go. So Yeah, because we have to travel. We do have to travel. Okay. Okay. There is more to explain, but you know what? I'll learn on the way. Let's just play. Yeah. We have no weapons, by the way. I have these. <laughs> you have those, yeah. She definitely punched things. So um, I did take a kickboxing class in college. Oh, interesting. Not like an actual college class, but it was at a gym. You had to give up, up the frustrations? Oh, and self-defense. That I did do. That was in our dorm. Oh, yes. So you can't get me. <laughs> okay. Would you like to read the flavor text to start the mission? Oh, you want me to? You can, but okay. do it slowly and articulate. What are you trying to say? You go too fast? I'm just helping. Okay. <laughs> In the middle of the night, a mystical event recalled the souls of the ancient heroes to the lands of Talon's coast. Their eyes still see the world as ethereal, veiled with a white mist. An invisible force leads the heroes to a specific point, a city not far from the Heavenshire Monastery. Their current location, still shaken and weak following the resurrection ritual, they start their journey when the voice of the High Krellic echoes in the minds. Oh, praises to the three gods for this. The spell succeeded. Quickly, come closer to the altar. Gather the weapons I left and reach the main aisle in our cathedral. Which is down here. Ways. We are in peril. So, basically, there's more story to it, but that's just the quick intro. In this game, we are heroes from a time... Before we we died and we kind of forgot who we were, and so the cleric has oh. resurrected us. Okay. Yep. And we are we need to build back up to our former selves, and that's basically what's happened now. We are ghosts of ourselves. Speaking of which, cool thing about this game: if you do die, you become a ghost. You go walk around and help help the the board. If we both turn into ghosts, then we lose the game. So okay. we don't want that to happen. Also, okay. if we run out of time, we lose the game. Okay. It is currently night. So this is something important to keep track of. Um, for night, you have to look in the book. And for this one, we actually do one less damage. We have minus one damage while it's currently night. Okay. Okay, so we woke up in a daze. We don't have any weapons. We're really weak. This is... We got to build up. Just come out. Coming out, a... coming out from the gate. Yeah. Hung over from whatever that was. Hung <laughs> over. What was that drink I had? <laughs> okay. Cool. So that is it. Now we do the turn structure. The turn structure starts off with a a time phase. So time phase is we have powers and how it works in this game, just real briefly. Here's a power. When I use it, it shows the number of hourglasses on the time side. This is three hourglasses. I'll take the card flip over to show a three. And then during time phase, I will turn it to two. Next time phase, turn to one. When I get to one, I get a flip back over. So and then it comes back. It comes back, right? Okay. So each of these powers has a delay before you can use them again. Uh, time phase will also do stuff like poison and other things. But that's basically what we do now. Nothing I have to worry about time phase right now. I don't think you have anything. No, I don't see you have anything for time phase. Well, my helium, I can't really do it. This? No. Well, yes. Once you use the helium oh, okay. spell, it's ready right now. So nothing for time phase. Then we do hero phase. How hero phase works, you can take a turn in any order you want. The hero will do the full turn, do all their actions, and then at the end of it, the enemy will activate. And then the next hero will go, and then they activate. And after that, we go into the event phase. Which is, and that's it. We'll go by it pretty fast. We'll, we'll do a little more explanation as we play, but it'll speed up as we go. All right. Okay, so nothing with time phase. We go our turn. So do you want me to go first, or do you want to go first? Slow down. Yes, you can go first. <laughs> okay. I will move, and I have three speed. So I will move into um, the center spot there. So, if you notice there, there's a little token with a one. That's a waypoint. And so, in the book, it says that when you reach any of these waypoints, you have to read what it says. So, we have to read 1.3. It 
Some old weapons lie near the altar. Once per quest, uh, each hero moving over this waypoint can spend one action to draw and equip up to three item cards of his choice from the stash deck. So this is the stash the uh, cleric was telling us about. Okay. And so stash is a set of cards, and they're right here. Um, there we go. So for one action, you can draw three cards. Correct. So here's the stash. You can choose whatever you want, um, and they're basically free to grab. And so I, because oh, I Oh, you choose. You don't. It's not random? You choose. Okay. Correct. Yeah, that'd be bad as random, because you want to build your character like how you want it to be. Pretty sure there's a bow. Perfect. I chose that bow ability, so I want to grab a bow. And interesting about this one, it's got a, a sword in the middle. It's a two-handed weapon. Some weapons have a primary hand or a secondary hand. And other ones, like this one, just have a primary hand. So you have certain slots you need to fill. So because I took the bow, that's basically the only thing I can take. I'll, I won't take anything else from this. But you can see I have one automatic damage when I use this. Interesting about this game, there's dice. But it does automatic damage, and then you roll dice to append to it. And here's the range, and then here's the bonuses I, I can spend. I'll explain that what happens later. But I'll take a bow. Okay. And then I can still move. So it lets me move uh, next to the door. This door has a curved top. It is a door that is unlocked. So I can use a free action, not one of my yellow actions, to open it. So technically I can open it right now. But I think I'll wait for you. Okay, how many actions do you, where is that coming from? The actions I have comes from this dial. So I have one yellow action. I use that to search for through the deck. So. Oh, and your movement is from your boots. I got it. Yep, movement from your boots. I was thinking the boots wasn't, that was an action. Okay. Nope. So I have one action. So I'm going to just do a move for one because mm -hmm. I have four movement. Because boots of speed. Bronze and Zelda out there. Okay. Um, I'm going to look for a weapon. Well, actually, I can do one thing on my turn. I can get a vial. Oh, these card. are double sided. I can't do the fancy side. Right no, you can't do the fancy side. I'm gonna okay. get a vial started because I can do that. So the other thing I do while Kim looks at cards is I have this one. This is a free action. It, it can do it as much as you want, basically. Uh, this one says um, I can get a vial one one card. So I'm gonna grab one of these cards and they're double sided, and I'm gonna equip myself with something. So the question is. I don't quite recall what all these symbols mean. Um, but I can draw three of them, right? Well, you can only carry. Well, you can carry something in your in your bag if you want, but it doesn't make sense. I would just grab what you can equip. Okay. So if you want to take a, a single handed axe, you can take some an axe and a shield. You can take a whip. You can't if you really want to. Well, what do you feel like really? I like shields. Like shields, you can. So if you take so, a shield, you have to take another weapon that's going to be your primary. Would that be this axe? You could do that. You have an axe in one hand, and you can take the buckler. What's the damage? Where's that one? Damage is yeah. this number. Okay. Yep. Let's just show you how much dice. I'm yeah. going to take this for my chemical knowledge. I'm going to take a corrosive vial. Is that legal to take those two? Uh, yes, you may. So okay. I'm going to do that during my turn. And then the cooldown doesn't begin until after I discard this card. So. So I'll take that vial. Pick it up. Okay. And then Kim is going to take these two weapons for her stash. She's going to take an axe, which does two automatic damage, rolls one die, and she can finish and potentially ignore options, which is pretty cool. And she can also take a buckler, which is going to give her a little more defense potentially. So Okay, there you go. And those go up top here. Oh. You can put these on. Side, if that's okay. Well, there's a lot of stuff on the table. There's a lot of stuff on the table, I know. Eventually, I'll get a bigger table, and this will be a lot easier to film. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> that's been a big, a big thing for me. I want to show you guys a ton of games, uh, but honestly, this table we have right down, down here is it's on the small side, especially with the equipment on it. So, it's been a good table. I bought this when I graduated college. Yeah, it's been good. Uh, would you like to continue? Oh, yeah, moving? I have more movement. Um, two movement. Should I stop? If I open the door, I assume something's going to appear, right? Correct. They and are the shadow tokens. We don't know what they are. out of action, so I'm going to wait. Yeah, I can't help. But if you open the door, we'll we'll, be, we'll draw a line of sight to the shadow tokens, and we'll flip them over to see what they are. They're probably enemies. And the other thing I mentioned is there's also a shrine here. The shrine, you can do some things, and then you can pray to the gods. 
Um, you also can also resurrect from there if you do get knocked out. Okay. So, okay, we did our hero turns. Um, after the hero, after your hero turn, you need to draw what's called an encounter card. I skipped it on my turn. You only draw encounter cards if there's enemies. There's apparently no enemies, so I didn't draw it. You don't have to draw any encounter cards either. Okay. But now we do the event phase. The event phase is you look at this event deck. Um, top of it, if it's face down, you will flip it face up. And then if there's a face-up card, instead you just discard it. So basically, every other turn, you will reveal a new event card. So let's reveal this one. It is Lost Treasure. Place a treasure card in the active hero's area. You went last, so you are considered the active hero. So you get this card. Oh, not this one. Sorry. I will actually show you what it is. This is a tease. What is that? It is a cursed item, which I checked, and I don't think there's a way to get rid of these items in the Immortal Souls campaign. Oh, that's a new item for the new campaign. That Correct. If, okay. So this is cool. They added to the game. What it is, is it's an item you have to pick up if you come across it. So this one is interesting. Enemies always count you as the preferred victim. So they're always, always, always going to attack you with this. But once per quest, you can discard some soul gems. It's experience, basically. And then you can't be di directly targeted by enemies. So it's got a little pro to it, but you have to carry this around. Also, it's got a one down here. means this is the minimum soul rank to even use this item, a.k.a. anyone, anyone can use it. Now, I they're in the deck. This deck is huge. I'm surprised we came across it so quickly. We're not going to use this in this campaign because there's they, they stay with you until you die or until you go to a temple and you have to spend some gold to get rid of it. And I checked the the buildings in this campaign and that building that temple does not exist. So I'd rather not play with them for this playthrough because we don't have the ability to get rid of them easily. Okay. Or don't have the ability to get rid of them at all really unless death comes up. So we'll do this one instead. So you have a compass to nowhere. So this is an artifact. Uh, this here, it shows you when you can use it. This is reaction. And it comes in play with two charges. So there are charges in this game, and it's just um, counters, basically, if you track the stuff. So it's going to come in play with two charges, to, and every time you use them, you spend a charge. So spend a charge, apply the other words effect on an encounter card just drawn, ignoring its main effect. So that's what that's going to do. Uh, and that'll make a little more sense when we start going. But basically, as we draw these encounter cards, it'll tell us, tell us how the enemies activate. And this way, you can manipulate how the enemies activate. Now, the, the thing is, it has Act 1. So this one is from the previous campaign. Now, normally, when you play Immortal Souls, you can use this card right away. However, with the new rules, Act 1 requires a soul rank of 3 to be able to use. So right now, because we're both soul rank 1, we grab this item, but we can't use it yet until we level up. So we'll just put okay, it in so your back. So we are playing with that new rule Correct. system. Okay. Correct. Yep. So we just found something. Can't really use it. We might use it later. We might sell it. Who knows? So, okay. That is the event phase. We're done with that. Then we move on to the time phase. So in time phase, I don't think we have anything going on. Nope, nothing going on. Um, the other thing I want to mention is we're also playing with new things called traits. Traits are kind of um, race abilities because I'm a halfling, um, so I've got some other buildings to it. So I have half half ma half man. Oh, I'm a half man. I'm not a half man. You're a half man. I'm half man. Okay, half man bravery. I gain extra defense when I'm f f going up against really big enemies. So any enemies that count two plus figures. Um, also, I'm nimble when. Whenever I roll a gremlin, when I'm doing a save roll, I take a damage. That's my negative effect. But the other thing I have is curiosity. I spend an action, and then I can re-roll dice when I search. Try to find good loot. So that's what my abilities are. Your abilities being Sigrid, the Northmen, you're hardened by frost. Frost giant. Yeah. Before suffering uh, incapacitating body condition, uh, you can try save. If you save, you ignore it. Cool. So if you're, like, blinded... Stunned or uh, slowed, you can you get a chance to ignore that. But exotic weakness. Each time you suffer wounds from fire or poison, you take an extra damage. So you're susceptible to that, unfortunately. However, when you dash, and there's one thing you do with the action, you can move two areas instead of one, and you can also ignore hindrances, which is great. You can just jump over things. Okay. 
Okay, that's your innates. Okay, let's go on with our hero turn. All right. You can go first, so then you can see what the bad guy is. Um, okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm the squishy one. You want me to go first? That's fine. I can do I it. I mean, chivalry. You could chivalry. open the door for me. <laughs> Actually, no, I could go That's first. Fine. I can well, do you said you're squishy. I should probably go first. I can do it. Yeah. I have a shield. I should probably go first with the I have shield. A bow. Thing. I can just poke no, my head. No, I'm and... gonna go first. Is it an action? Just what is it to open the door? Just it's open a the free door. action. Open the door, but you also draw a trap card. Every time you open a door or you open a chest. Okay. Would you like me to open the door or chest? No, I, I'll do it. I have a shield. We're both going to get hit by the trap, so. Oh. It doesn't so matter who does it. doesn't matter. Then open the door. Me open the door? Yeah, I'm going to get hit. Here we go. Draw a trap card. See what it is. It is lightning. Unless saved, it's here within two areas, which is both of us. Suffers a hit point and becomes knocked out. <laughs> so okay. lightning is protecting that door. The door opens no matter what, but now we have to do a save roll. So do I move the door? Yes, we move the door. And now the save roll, just as a reminder is on the bomber card it tells me what i need to roll so both are going to roll blue dice and see what we get just one just one you need a lightning bolt and i need a shield lightning bolt lightning bolt shield no, no. can we swap these <laughs> <laughs> so neither of us are success successful so we both take a wound um and then we both get knocked knocked over okay so how do i track my wounds just take a Oh, this thing. Yeah. Okay, so when you knock down, all that means is you need to spend, a, spend one of your movement points to stand up. Oh, okay, that's not bad. No, it's really not that bad right now. But now we look at this spot. So this X here, this is an area movement um, map. So you move by areas, and then each X is the line of sight. So if I can draw a line from that X to another X, we, we reveal it. And I think there's a line up here to this one. From what? there. I think you can draw a line from here to there. I'm pretty sure that's in the rules. So I'm going to flip this you over. Can, you can go here to here. Yeah. Yes. Not there, though. So I flip this over. Why not there? Because the X is right here. And it crosses that black spot. I checked this earlier. You sure about that? I'm pretty sure. All right. Okay, so here's the enemy. Uh, the enemy was in that spot. So we'll, we do discard that and we draw the enemy card. So draw an enemy card. This one? Yep. Okay, this is a new enemy. So this is a giant spider. You can grab the blue miniature over there. And so this guy... Oh, gross. <laughs> I really don't like spiders. So normally you don't see spiders in this game. You only see gremlins, but I decided to substitute enemies out. You can't do that in this game. So I decided to change up a little bit. There are still gremlins in there. Okay. So this one counts as one figure. That's what the symbol means. Now if we kill it, we get five gold. It has six health. And then it is a dexterous enemy uh, type monster, and then up here tells its preferred victim. It's victim with the lowest health. Yeah. No, lowest wounds. At least my wounds. Yep. Oh. That's what it is. Okay. So he is out there, and then the important thing is we need to use his AI card. And this is what I love about this game. Um, you find the blue spider AI card, which is here. And this is a big car. There's, there's one for every single enemy out there, and it basically controls what they do. And so I'll run through this when it's his turn, but I just want to show you that's that's important for me about the game. Okay, so the enemy's out there. He has no defense. Um, I can see him from where I am. So let me use my movement. I'll stand up. And my bow has a range of three spaces. You can get him. From where I am? No. One, two, three. No, he's one, two, three, four. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, he's too far away. Okay, I thought this was one. No, no. So I could move up here, but then I revealed that other enemy. Make sure you do that. I thought I should, that's why I should go first. You told me to go first. No, I said I would go first, and then you just said I'll do the trap because it didn't matter. Oh, I thought you meant I needed to do the trap because you didn't want to go first. No. <laughs> okay, okay, go ahead. You go first. That's okay, fine. I'm going to put you back down. <laughs> I'll lay down for a second. This is one, and then I'm going to go two. Yep. And Flip it over. What is that? It's another enemy. Okay. We have a gremlin, a green gremlin monster. Yep. So this one only has three health, and he has five gold if you take him out. Okay. Okay. 
Does the spider have range? Is it gonna like web shoot me? Uh, let me check. So, the spider. So how it works is if you're in his spot, he's gonna do this zero zero action. If he's one two, he's gonna do this. If he's further away, but he's line of sight, he'll do the last one. So currently, okay. the spider cannot see you, but he can see me. So he's gonna do the last part. He's gonna move up to two areas towards the closest hero. And attack the closest hero in line of sight well, with the web. He's going to come after me. Because I'm going to move up and try and smack that gremlin with my axe. Okay. The gremlin's going to attack with claws if you're in his spot. Well, I don't have range, so. That's fine. Let me go up there. You're, you're this fine. is my second. No, third movement. Okay. And. So, you've got some options when you, with your character. So, one thing you can do with the actions is you can dash. You can move extra far. Another one you can do is you can focus and attack. When you focus and attack, you get an automatic damage to your next attack so you can do that now or you have a cool ability called uh anvil of thunder if you like to use it instead as you want let's show everyone what that yeah, is explain that one yes yeah, so here's kim's innate anvil of thunder uses her action so the first one says roll soul rank divide by two red dice so her current soul rank is one so one divided by two is 0.5 you round up to one so it means, means you rolled one red dice for each lightning bolt on that roll, place an energy on this hero point. You can get up to three of them. Then sometime later, you can spend another action to discard any number of those light, those energies to add plus, plus the same amount of damage to your next weapon attack. So you can build up this power to do a really powerful attack later. But you have to roll the dice for it. So, but that costs an action to do. It costs an action to do. You can do that or you can do a guaranteed hit. So I can do this and I don't attack him this turn? No, no. You, that is just your action. Remember, you have a yellow action. Yes. And you also have a combat action. Oh, the fist. You, okay. So you haven't done that yet. You can still do okay. your attack at some point this turn. Yeah, I think I'll try the Anvil of Thunder and okay. start like charging up. Go ahead. Yeah, it's fun. Roll your dice and use uh, lightning bolts. You did not get any lightning bolts. So. Okay. Okay. But I have a punchy punch. Still so a punchy punch. Now for... The axe, it's two damage. Yep, let's walk through this. You want to swing your axe? Yes. So it is a slash attack. Now, the interest. Oh, actually, the gremlins are okay. I know some other gremlins are resistant against slash, but this one is not. So oh, good. <laughs> that worked out. So she's going to get two automatic damage, and then she rolls a blue dice, and depending on what she rolls, she can trigger these abilities. So go ahead and roll your blue die. So you roll the shield. Unfortunately, that doesn't do anything for attacking. So you just have two damage. That's okay. No, it's fine. Right? That's fine. Right? So two damage. The gremlin, gremlin himself, has three health, so he's taking two wounds and he's still alive. Oh crap! Yeah, almost one shot at him, but not quite. Okay, that is it. I have more movement. Can I run away? No. When in this game, you can move if you. When you move and when you do combat, you cannot split that up with other actions. You have to complete your move and complete your combat. Um, sorry, I should say that otherwise. You cannot, you cannot divide your combat and move, but you can still you can do an action during combat and you can do an action during your move. If that makes sense, but you can't do a combat during a move. You can't do a move during so combat. So when I do my move, I have to do it all at once. Yes, with the exception of yellow actions. Oh, okay. You can't basically you can't do a combat in the middle of a move. Okay. Is all you have to remember. Okay. Okay. So that is basically all you can do. And now that we have enemies on the board, you have to draw an encounter card. We'll walk through what that does. Ooh, it's sleeved. Yeah, it's like sleeved, <laughs> so you shuffle them all the time. Okay, activate all strength enemies. Otherwise, activate up to two enemies. So now we look at the board, and they are both dexterous enemies, so we do the otherwise effect. So both of them are going to activate. Okay, so we'll do the gremlin first. So here's the gremlin card. So what we do is we look at range zero. That's me? Yep, you're in range zero. It wants to attack the one with the most money, which you're the only one in range zero. It's going to attack with claws. I have zero money. Yeah. So the claws is it rolls two red dice. That's basically what it's going to do. Uh, lightning bolt, star, and two hits. So lightning bolt has no abilities for it. Star doesn't have any abilities to it, so the two hits will hit you. So Just for two? Kind of. Now Kim has armor. So I can roll... 
So let me let me take your card real quick so I can talk this talk through this a little bit. So two hits are coming out of camp. Now we're gonna do her, her roll. So if you notice here on her defense, she has an armor. So Instant block, one of the damage. Yeah. One damage is going through. I can this roll is two dice. Actually, not exactly. You roll up to two dice. You roll up to the number of damage you're taking remaining. So you have one damage coming at you, you roll one dice. Even if I have this shield? Correct. So what happens is if you roll line of bolts, you get plus one, you can get an extra uh, block. Any shield block as well. You do have the shield, which normally you can only do one of these abilities once a turn. But if you happen to roll both dice and get two line of bolts, you can then spend them for both blocks. Does that make sense? Okay. So the shield doesn't do anything unless you roll line of bolts. They're, they're weak weapons in the beginning, so... Didn't roll lightning bolt. Okay, so you're taking one, one damage. damage. Right. Yep. Okay. Took the damage. That is combat. That was the gremlin. Now it's up to the spider. So the giant spider, let's look at his card. And he looks at range zero. Nobody's there. Range one to two. So you're in that one. So he's going to attack with web. Uh, web is down here. He's going to get one automatic damage. And he's got four blue dice. And potentially try to slow. So let's go ahead and do that first. So roll four blue dice. Hopefully you don't get a star. Are these? They're all the same. This one's different. No, it's not. They're all the same. They might be different colored because like some of them are newer, but Ow. Okay, so it looks like he has one two damage and he did get a star, so he is gonna trigger his his slow effect. Now, you have a special ability. You are hardened by frost. You can do a save. Yes. So do your save roll. Roll one dice and see if you can land a bolt. And you red, blue. red dice? Blue. blue dice. Blue dice. Come on. No, I can't roll lightning bolts. Okay, so you're going to be slowed. What does that mean? I'll show you that in a second. Uh, right here. So the nice thing about this game is they came with new status tokens, which is, helps a lot. So status tokens look like this. They're double-sided. And it's just a lot easier. Rather than having all these different tokens, you have this one token for basically all your conditions. So we're going to put this on your card, and it's going to be uh, one facing up right now. So you're slow. What that means for you is, on your next hero turn, you can only do one movement, one combat, or one yellow action. Or? Or. Okay. One of those three, and that's it. Okay, so he has... The but spider... we're not done yet. Because he attacked the web. That's a... And then it says, if the victim is slowed, and there are no other heroes in his area move to engage. So he's going to come at you, and he's going to entrap. And trap says down here, if the victim the victim suffers knocked up, knocked over. So you get knocked over. Oh my god! And then, unless save, you take two more damage. So try to do a save. You need a lightning bolt. She's going to kill me if she does, because now she's at what four or five damage. Yeah. Yep. Take no. two more damage. So that's I got one two. You should have Three, four, four. What about an automatic hit that she has to do? Right? She webbed. That's five. Oh, wait a second. We didn't roll your defense for the web? I haven't rolled any defense yet. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, Let's finish the web. So, yeah, you took three damage, so roll two blue dice. You block one of it, you take two damage. And then you take another two damage from this That's other. Four. You should be at six. Wow, Christ, that hurt. So I have six damage. Yes, you have six damage. I only have seven life. Yeah, that's that's a problem. <laughs> oh, technically, this guy is only a one because you have minus one damage. Why? Because of the night phase. I forgot. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, so that's the thing. This is a really bad turn. That was a really bad turn. Really bad turn. I shouldn't have gone first. <laughs> okay. It would help if I would roll some lightning bolts. It would. Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Oh, yeah. I do think, this is my first time playing the new enemies. They do seem stronger. They did say they made the game harder. So they're technically the same difficulty level as the others. But That's just see. counter to what you just said. I know. They're supposed to be. They seem stronger. Okay. Your turn is over. It is my turn. So now I'm going to stand up. I shall move here. And then I'm going to try to save you. Please. <laughs> so first thing I'm going to do. do is I have, what is, what's my thing? Yes, I have a corrosive vial. Boom. So I'm gonna throw this vial into that mess. I'm okay if it hits me. It won't hurt you. Because okay. it only hurts um, enemies of the other type. So. 
So I'll use my yellow action for this attack. Um, range is act when act one, so it's one range, and I roll one red dice. So I'm going to do poison, and it's poison for one, and it's going to do a break effect. Break means it will try to drop down and try to melt armor. Basically what it is, is it puts these tokens out there. And it will, it will last for the for the length of that character. So you can actually whittle someone's armor down to nothing, potentially, with this attack. The nice thing is, they don't have any armor, so instead that's going to be straight damage. Good. Okay. So let me roll that red dice and see what we get. So let me grab one of these and... Should I focus the attack? Whatever's going to make you hit it. Well, we hit no matter what. Um, yeah, we hit no matter what. I think I will focus the attack. Because if I get an a AoE, it'll be damage to both of them. Okay, okay, so here we go. That's not how you do this. <laughs> so I didn't do any damage, but the nice thing is the poison and the breaks no matter, happens no matter what. So they're both going to get poisoned. And the nice thing about poison on enemies is it never goes away on them. But they have, they can't save. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm going to die. <laughs> You're going to die. Oh, no. I didn't get an AoE. So, uh, crap. Um, I'll definitely put on that stronger one, the spider. Stri spider is poisoned, which is kind of funny. Do they have immunity to poison? I think they should. Thematically. No, I don't need it to be immune to poison. No, it's not immune to poison. Okay. Not, not from what I can tell. All hey, right. Um, hey, Robert. Hey, Robert. He's asking, uh, you can't focus and use your main action together, can you? You are correct. Thank you, Robert. Good call. Yes, because that was a yellow action to throw it. I can't. I don't have another yellow action to focus as well. Oh, so you were trying to cheat. I was trying to cheat. So. <laughs> Good catch. <laughs> yes, but I missed anyway, so the same effect happens. But the nice thing is it does take a damage from the break. So it's going to be at one. Even at nighttime? Yeah. Yep. Even at nighttime. Nighttime reduces the damage of the guaranteed damage, but this is an effect. Basically, how it works is if you try to do an effect on a bad guy, and they already have the effect, with the exception of fire, I believe, um, they will take damage. So, if I, for example, if they're poisoned one, and I try to do another poison one, they will, instead of taking, instead of that ability doing nothing, they will take a damage. Okay. Straight up. So Robert's saying you can attack now. Yes, and I will attack Great. now. So please kill him. How much life does he have? Um, Six. I don't know if I can kill him. I might go for the other guy. Yeah, hit the gremlin. So I'll try to shoot my bow at the gremlin, because at least that guy might be able to You're kill You're not going to be able to kill him. Well, yeah, probably not. Because this guaranteed hit is gone. And so I have to roll two dice and hopefully get some Get lightning bolts. You can do it. Yeah. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> okay. So we'll Save see what happens. Save me, Steven. All right. Roll them dice. Here we go. We get horrible rolls. I get one hit. Yeah. I did one damage to it. So yeah. I'm going to take the damage and that's basically it. So I have to run away or something. Um. Okay. Encounter guard. Yeah, you might die. I'm so dead. Okay, activate one enemy uh, of of each rank. So both of them are activated. <laughs> this might be really bad. This is the fastest game. <laughs> this might be really bad. Okay, so um, the gremlin's going to go first, I guess. We'll do him first. Okay. Does, does he slash characters on the ground? He will potentially attack characters on the ground, yes. Defenseless. You are defenseless. Yeah, when you're laying down, you can't use your armor. But I'm wearing it. Your armor value, you can still roll for it, but you can't use your armor value. But basically, you're not mobile enough to stop it. Um, and yes, nighttime modifier. Yes, that's the problem. We're not doing enough damage. So, I think you icing death. So, uh, what is I think what you're referring to icing death is this uh, bow here. Um, I rolled one damage, but I also had another damage. I had to ignore this damage, which is guaranteed because of the nighttime effect. So that sucks. All right, Kim, I think you're gonna die. Luckily, this the uh, uh, shrine's right there. So I can come back as a ghost. Yeah, and haunt me for the rest of my life. I'm going to do that. Okay, haunt <laughs> me for the rest of my life. Okay. 
Okay, so he is going to attack you at range zero with claws. So let's just roll two red dice. They are, oh yeah. I'm super dead. Super dead. So they also control the area or dominate the area. Meaning that in this game, if there's more en enemies in an area, they control it. And then if there's more figures in a spot, um, more than more than double the, the rest of the enemies um, there, that they'll get a plus one of damage. So right now, they're getting plus one damage to whatever they roll. And right now, they roll two, so they did three. Um, I'm super dead. You're super dead. Because you can only roll two dice, and then... Or I can't roll defense, you said. You, your armor doesn't do anything, but you still roll your dice. But it doesn't matter because you're going to take one damage and that's all that's needed to knock you out. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now you're a ghost form. I have to come back to the shrine? No, you now replace your character with the ghost. Okay. And the interesting thing about this is... I didn't make it one turn. I know. Here is the ghost card. So you've got this ability... Uh, Soul Shout, target enemy suffers bash and one hit point per its own defense value, minimum zero. So um, you can knock them away. And then you have the ability to recall and moving five. So we're showing you everything in this game, apparently. Yeah, how not to play. How not to play. <laughs> uh, you know what? I didn't even put our life up on the board. I have it on the screen. I totally forgot to do this. Well, I'm at zero. You're at zero. So I'll put my life up there real quick. Um, I'm at four life. So... Do, am I forever a ghost? Can I not die again? No, you can come back. Um, what's going on here? Oh, what's going on? No, you can come back, uh, but we need to spend experience to bring you back to life with, the, with what's going on. Okay. So, um, so in my ghost form, have I lost any of my stuff? Or am you I... drop anything you're carrying, so that one treasure you got, you drop. Okay, whatever. that's all right. We don't care about that. I'm all right, losing the treasure. Yeah, so you have four life, and you just drop it in that spot. You can pick it up later. Uh, or someone can pick it up, I think. It's stuck. Okay. Okay, so that was the gremlin, and now we do the spider, and the spider is going to come after me now. It is one to two away, so it's going to attack with web. So one dice and four damage, or four, one damage and four. So you're gonna roll for me. What am I rolling? Four blues. I think we're gonna die, guys. I think this is really bad. Whoa, that's a good roll. Well, kind of, he, he, it's gonna slow me. Yeah, it's gonna slow me. Take my slow, unless okay. I keep it. No, no, you can <laughs> drop it, so. All right, so that's interesting. Um, and he's going to do one to me. I have a magic shield, so I can spend. I need to spend my magic shield to cancel that. So I am okay. And then it says here, uh, if the victim is slowed, which I am, and there's no other heroes there, yep, it's going to engage me, and then it's going to trap me. So it's going to knock me over, and I take two more damage. Yeah. Okay, so I take two more damage. I am at... Two. Two life. I'm not a fan of that spider. I'm not either. I'm wondering if it was a bad idea to put the spiders in this game. You know, it probably was. It probably was. <laughs> okay, that is the end of the hero turn. We do, we do the event phase. So the event phase is simple. We have a card here, we just discard it. And then we do time phase. Time phase is because I used my power from the last time. It's at three. I get it, click it to two. And this is my vile one, so I won't be able to use that for a while yet, if I survive. And then time, the nice thing about time phases is this guy has poison, so he's going to take another damage. That's going to happen every turn. You get to save. Oh my gosh, Robert. Thank you. I totally forgot to save. Good call against the 2 HP. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I not roll for the slow? Heck with web. No, I don't get to save against the automatic slow he has. But you're right. I it says here, um, the victim is slowed. Need to engage in using trap. Trap is unless save suffers two. Good call. Good call. Thank you. Good catch. Save it. Okay, I need to roll a shield to save that. And that is not a shield. In fact, that's really bad because my innate says if I roll a gremlin on my save rolls, I take an extra damage. <laughs> Gosh, 
guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is the worst. We might have to um mulligan. We might have to mulligan this play. We got one life. <laughs> this, the bad thing is I am I'm slowed. I think I'm just dead. I think we lost. Oh, we're not done yet. Isn't isn't the bad guy's turn over? Okay, now it's yeah. Well, now at, we're done with time phase. Now it's our here phase. Oh, I know, no, Robert. It's, so bad. <laughs> it's the worst luck. It's, so it's the worst luck. Wait, did, so, the, did he, the gremlin go? No, did he kill me? He yeah, killed he killed you. So yeah. they both gone. Now here's the here's the problem. I'm slowed. That means I can only do one action. I'm also knocked over. That means my only option I can do is stand up, and that's it. That's my whole turn. Yes. Okay, I will go first. Who do you want me to try to kill? I, the only you can guy... only bash him away. You can't do anything. And we have no experience to resurrect you. We need one experience to get you back to life. And we've we've and normally bad guys will drop experience, but in case this case we happen to draw the two of them that don't drop experience. I can't <sighs> kill guys, I can only push them away. Yes. Yeah, some heroes it depends on the soul nature. So your soul nature is only um bash, which is push them away, or deal them they suffer damage equal to their armor. These guys don't have any armor, but it says about minimum zero. So if they had armor, you can actually do damage to them, but these guys don't. Yeah, you're screwed. Yeah, so you can't do anything with your ability. I, nope. can, I can push the You can push them around. around. You can push them around. Yeah. Can I move do. to the spider and push the spider back? You could. Um, it says it's a reset shuffle, the shadow tokens, and start over. I agree. Yeah, Robert, I think it is. I agree. This because is I'm going to stand up, and he's just going to kill me. Yeah. Okay. I agree. So that is not how you play this game. This is how difficult the game can be. <laughs> Holy crap, that was brutal. So So what? Do you I, want do you want to put the gremlins back in? And I take think the spiders the gremlins, out? Because the spiders are they're supposed to be the equal so like how, entry level or not. Yeah, so how it works, I'll explain to everyone so everyone knows what's going on. So here's the gremlins. Up here in the corner it shows you their rank and their fighting style. So the fighting style is a D for dex dexterity. You see how there's a there's a um a little pip on top of it? They're rank one. Okay. And so in the game you can go and grab any monster you want as long as it matches the fighting style and the rank and it should be equal. So if you look at the spiders, dexterity rank one. I can make a hard right grabbing a dexterity rank two, so it's got two pips around it, or up to four potentially. But this is supposed to be equivalent to that. And looking at the stats, they are relatively equivalent, but it is it does seem like it's a step up, if you can tell. Like even down here, look at what they roll, look what they have. It's just a lot more happen. Well, let's reset because it's what time is it? The night is still young. It's night only, is still young. It's only ten. Okay. Do you want to keep the spires in or you want to switch out to the gremlins? I feel like that's such a Sissy, Let me know in the chat, guys. Sissy move. Do the spiders stay in or do they come out? Um, I'm going to put this treasure away. Does yep. this matter where it goes? Nope, just put it anywhere in the deck. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Put it in the second card slot. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to just keep my weapons. I'm not even going to put those weapons back. I'm going to do the same beginning thing. Okay. Get out of here, ghost. You want to grab the treasure? You can shuffle the trap card back into it. And the counter cards. Right. Those as well. And then, yeah, that was really, really bad. It was rough. It was a rough one. Right. I wonder if I need to choose a defensive ability instead. Well, you have your healing, though. Which I didn't use, but I died right away. Yeah, you died. You also didn't charge up. You weren't able to charge up your... Well, yeah, I didn't roll. All my rolls failed. So I like the spiders, you have to pay attention to line of sight to avoid attacks. Yeah, so that's the that's the one thing I like about this game a lot, is this these AI cards become the puzzle. So you really have to pay attention to what they do. So the problem is, and you're exactly right, Robert, um, they tackle webs, and then they move closer, and then they will trap again. So they do extra damage. If we're close to them, um, they will try to trap us, they bite us, and then run away. Um so yeah, it might be might be best to get in there in, right up in the grill on the spiders. I'm not really sure. All right. So there's only four enemies. There are only cards. four enemy cards, yes. Two of them are spiders and two of them are gremlins. Correct. Okay. Yep. Right, you want to keep it as is? Yeah. Robert has spoken. Robert has spoken. <laughs> okay. He's made some corrections, so I believe that 
I believe what he's saying. Okay. Yeah, listen to it. So let's fast forward the game. Uh, no, leave those there. We will shuffle. Actually, let's shuffle all of them. So shuffle them all up. And then let's put the shadow back on the board. So two here. Yep, two here. And then one back behind the store. Okay. Okay, let's start up. And we will do the first thing. Which... Wait, what is this? Do you have to shuffle that in? No, no, that stays out. It starts okay. in play in this game. Okay. Okay, so... Do you shuffle these? No, you don't shuffle that back. Oh. It's set up to be a somewhat standard order. Okay, so let's speed up. Um, okay, let's talk about this, though. Do you want to open the door right away or not? I mean, you said there's no line of sight here. There's no line of sight to this one. Which I find hard to believe. Because look at here, it goes to that, that black... Corner. Oh, that's a wall. It's a wall. So that, if it wasn't okay, for the now, wall, it would now see I it. believe it. There's a wall. This there. one you can see though. From there to the, yes. Yeah. But I'm okay with that. Yeah, I would I'd... say let's just open the door and let them come to us. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go in, grab my weapons. Okay. Same weapons. I got my shield and my axe. Okay. I'm gonna go here and I'm opening the door. <laughs> okay, draw a trap card. Do you want to be in my spot with me? No, because I can take damage too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mortal cloud. I have to roll a soul rank over two, so I'm going to roll one red dice based on the highest soul rank hero. Yep, so just one for you. Okay. So it's a serious view. You see what's going on. See the mortal cloud. Um, each hero within one area, which is just you, suffers one point for each, each damage you roll. So basically, roll red dice. I just don't roll any, no just damage. Roll damage. One, one damage. One damage hit. That's okay. Yeah, you just take one damage. All right. Give me one big. You just took it. Oh, oh on the got, oh, yeah, you, you have your counter on the counter first. thing. Oh, I totally forgot. I didn't use it. That's why we lost because I wasn't using, you using it. Using the counter. <laughs> so, okay, there oh. we go. You have six life now, and I have five life. There we go. All right. Okay, but I have um, I can do my yellow thingy, right? Yes, we gotta do this first, and it is an enemy. So don't draw the card. Green, or um, that's not green. Blue gremlin. Please. Blue gremlin. Okay, here we go. So here's a blue gremlin card. They all do things a little bit differently. Now the interesting thing about the blue gremlin card specifically is, you know, what's up here in the corner? It's got this little Celtic knot. Yeah, that's what that is. Guess what? They get powers too. So let's draw a power for them. So on the right one. Draw that one. Okay. Berserker. Yep. So here's his I ability. Remember that. And right now we're in Act One, so we do the top one. If we're Act Two, we flip it over. So this one is, if wounded, um, all attacks performed by this enemy inflict critical damage. Also, if they roll a gremlin, they'll do lethal damage. So um, they're going to do critical wounds to us. There is a bag here, and you can't see the bag here, and he'll draw. We'll do bad it. Effects. We'll do it when we get there. So. Also, he does have defense against slashing. I'm not slashing. You I'm... do. You axe has slash. Oh, it's slash axe. Yeah, so you might want to not... I'll let you shoot him. Okay. And also, they do have a blue thing. If the enemy suffers damage, attack all here is in the area with two damage. So they do have spines when you attack them. That's a bad thing. Okay. So that's that. You... I can do my charge up thing. Can do your charge up thing. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, a red die, and I want lightning bolts. Got one. Got one. So I get a little charge token, please. Yep. And there you go. All right. It's a better start. Oh, no, you can't do that because you look for items. You I did? Yeah. Remember? Oh, we fast forward. The... Yeah. Sorry. Take the charge token. All right, <sighs> so that's it. Now we do the encounter. So draw an encounter card. Uh, activate up to two enemies. Okay, so the blue one's going to activate. He is more, let's see, one, two, three, he's four away, so he's going to do the last one. Attack twice with stone and move one area. So he's going to attack with two damage against you. But I can block it. You can block it. So you have one armor, so you have, I'm going to block one of it, and the other one you got rolled for. Blocked it, and then we'll do the same thing again. Roll again for the second throw. Uh, you got a lightning bolt, which turns into a shield. So you block the other one. Okay, good. Then he's going to move... One. One area. Yes. Okay. Okay. 
So he, he threw rocks at me? Yep. Threw two rocks and then ran, up, ran closer okay. to Okay. So now it's my turn. I'm going to move, pick up my weapon, of course, Which move weapon? to your spot. Yeah, and then shoot him. Right? With your bow? Correct. I think we should take our time. Correct. Pay attention to line of sight. Follow Correct. some advice from... <laughs> so here's my bow. Maybe we were too aggressive last um, time. I will use my... I use my action to get in the bow, so I can't use an action now. So I'll just have to roll. And I ignore the first damage, so it's what if I roll on my blue dice, which is not ideal, but let's see what it is. Okay. Um, here we go. Roll the dice, and I got one da one damage and a lightning bolt, which counts as another damage. So that actually is two damage to him. Oh, and good. He he's has halfway done. No shields, so two damage. But now he's going to do crit. Not good. Okay. I also have another thing I can do. I can use my vial. So. I am going to, here's some, let's look at the options I can do. So I can get the corrosive one, which I had last time, which is poison, which I love. Um, that's an option. I can do this one, which blinds them. Uh, this one is, enemies a target area has a condition. Um, I can increase it by one rank. So what that means is each of these conditions um, has a rank, so slow. The slow will become a the blind will become a stun, so I can make the whatever condition they have worse for them. So that's kind of cool. Um, I can also, which is awesome, doppelganger. I can turn myself into an enemy and then attack them with their own stuff. <laughs> uh, I can move our powers forward and backward, forward to us and give us our, more actions. And the last one is I can teleport to a hero spot. So I think, with, which one of those do I want to take? Um, do you only get one? Can you I can only get one at this low level. I almost like the more actions. You like the more actions? Yeah, this one? Move your powers forward so you can do your, more, your powers more often? Yeah, so I'm just ticking the, do the token up, right? You're ticking these powers up faster. Oh. Yeah. No. Yeah. I think you should poison them or something. Yeah, I think the poison one's probably the best one. So let's do that one again. Okay, that is what I've got. It is, that's it, that's it. Okay, draw and counter card. Activate all purple enemies. Otherwise, activate all highest rank enemies. Which is the blue guy again. So he is currently at range one, two, three from us. So here he is, He's and he can, he'll attack the one with the most money, which is Ida. So um, he'll attack one of us. He's going to move to engage and attack the class. Um, I can take it. Sure. I have more defense than you. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So, uh, oh, wait. Uh, class is minus one armor. I didn't see that last time. So you're going to have to roll against both of these for blue. Are you sure? I, I can do it. I have more health than you, don't I? I have a magic shield, so one of them is going to get blocked no matter oh, what. Oh, okay, here you go. So then I just roll one dice. Go ahead and roll, roll the attacks against no, me. No, because then it's my fault. <laughs> okay. So he's going to attack with claws. Let's see what it is. It is nothing. He totally whiffed. He can't use any of those. Yeah, oh, nothing. Oh, that's lucky. See? Good thing I didn't roll. <laughs> okay. Sweet. Do you get to save your little token? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Uh, and he doesn't do the critical because he rolled no damage. Wow, that was well, lucky. He, he rolled the face gremlin guy. He does, but he has no damage. He literally rolled no damage. Lethal three. What is it? Lethal okay. three. So what Kim's talking about is his berserker ability. So here's the berserker thing. He did roll a gremlin, so he gets lethal three. So what that means is his next three damage becomes lethal, and it effectively means that Unless you have magic shield, you can't block it. Okay. And the the thing is, he can roll no damage. Oh, so it doesn't matter. Okay. So yeah, I, while I he does you. have lethal three, he has no damage to turn lethal. Okay, I got you. Yeah. So I'm gonna kill him. Nope, because that's it. We go to time phase, or event phase. On my next turn. I Lost treasure. Big surprise, right? There you go. And we get this, the end, endless agony. It's another artifact. Uh, four charges. The level threes. I can't use it yet. Attack target enemy with act damage, one red dice. Um, Remember the spine so maybe first may be beneficial in the next turn. Yes, so his so really good point, uh, 
proper. So because if you attack them in their in the area, um, let me show. Where is that part? Oh, there. Right here in front of me. So thank you, Robert. What he's talking about is here the spines. If the enemy suffers damage, attack all heroes in this area with two damage. Oh. So it actually shoots spines out of its body every time yeah. you hit it. Okay. So he's saying we might want to move out of the way. Very smart. People do that. So that's a great tip, Robert. So this one says attack with damage and a red dice for each lightning bolt roll. You can add plus one red dice to its attack. If any stars are rolled, this attack deals no damage. That's interesting. So it's like exploding dice, but if you roll a star, it kind of whips. Okay. I don't know. Could be fun. So I've got that. Are you giving it to me? Sure. Okay. Or take an active here. I guess I take it. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. Follow the rules, Steve. Okay. Let's follow the rules. <laughs> uh, that is it for the event phase. Now we do time phase. Uh, I don't think anything happens during time phase. No, I don't have anything. Okay. So now it's our turns. Okay. So, hmm. Do I? Um, you said if we run out of time, we lose. Is that when we get to the bottom of this deck? Yeah. Yeah. We have to get through the whole quest before we get to the bottom of the deck. I'm thinking I'm going to run this way. Well, no, I only have close combat. And he would spine me. So even if I knock him out, he would spine in retaliation, If I, even if he's dead? Yeah, his last death throws, yes. Okay. Yep. It's only two damage, not the end of the world, but it would obviously be a good so. so I'm thinking I'll move and trigger the next guy, and hopefully you... And just leave that guy to do whatever? Or are you going to go first? I mean, because my only other thing is, if I move away, then I just sit here for the entire turn, and that seems like a waste to me. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. So then if I go here and start on that guy, and leave you to hopefully take care of that one. Or I can attack that guy. But doesn't he spine everybody in this place? He would. He would. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can block it. So you're going to block one of the damage already with your armor. You would have to roll, you would roll one die. So you want to go first and retreat to, like, here and no. then shoot him? I just want to shoot him. Or I can or I can move out of the way, actually, potentially. That's I can what move I'm over saying. here and then shoot him and then throw my... my bottle over there. Why don't I move here to see what that guy is? But you can't attack this guy and take him out if you move away. You have no range. I don't. Yeah. You can attack him and then run up there. Are you saying you want me to go first? Because then you're going to get hit. Yeah. I, I, As much as I'd like to avoid the spines, I don't see a way of doing it without taking take him out because if we if we don't he's gonna get attacked on us most likely so all right so you go first okay. move out of there okay you can turn around and do like a little pshoo, <laughs> yeah. and um see what that other bad guy is and then i'll just or i don't and then you can just run up and take because the problem is when you reveal him he'll activate most likely if i don't move and just take him out then you can run up there and get a first first stab at him whatever it is well the last time i did that it didn't pan out too well yeah but this is only one enemy as opposed to two so Right. I think I'm just shooting with the bow in the spot. So okay. Let's just do that. The nice thing is we are dominating the area, so I get plus one to the damage. So plus one, minus one. So I I can do this card just straight up. One damage. Um, I do have an action. I think I'm going to save it, because I think I'm going to throw my line to whoever appears on the corner. Okay. Maybe. I hope this works. All right, here we go. Roll these two blues. And... Yeah. Perfect. That lightning bolt becomes a damage. It's two damage. It's three. For a second, I thought that was sarcasm. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> Stan's <laughs> like sending my wife to sacrifice the lamb. <laughs> yes, I know. It's our relationship. <laughs> oh, I know. Okay, but I did take him out, so that's good. He is dead, and the nice thing is he drops a soul gem, so we get to increase our experience. We or you? Uh, we. It's combined. So over there, actually, let me show everyone what it is. So this was added, a really nice soul count. So we'll increase by one. So what this is, is in order to go to the next level, our next level is two. We need that number squared. So two squared is four. Once you get four experience, we can level someone up. To level three, it'd be three squared, nine, so on and so forth. Okay. So. But I have to roll defense for spiky spikes. 
Yes, he's going to spike both of us right now. Okay. So I have a magic shield, and then the other one's going to potentially hit me. I do roll a blue die and okay. see if it hits me. Um, it does hit me, so I do take one damage. This is my... I blocked it. You blocked both. You're good. So I take one damage. So, ouch. Okay. Okay, that was your plan. That was my plan. But now, do I step out there and throw my corrosive vial? Yeah, or... because I still have all my whole turn to do. And I can run around the corner. Okay. That's me with an axe. Okay. So let's move here. One. Let's see what it is. It is an enemy, so we're going to flip and see what we get. Green spider. Green spider. This one has four life. That's not bad. Four life. No, it's not bad. No armor on spines As is not, not attack. attack. Um, good question. Good oh. question, Icy Do I have death. to block both of us? Um, spines, the enemy suffers damage. Attack all heroes with two damage. Yeah, it's an attack. So you can, you can use armor. That's a good question. Good, good question. I think on the red gremlin, it is not an attack. It is straight trip damage. But I think the blue one... Okay, so we need the green spider in that spot. Here is Mr. Green Spider. And guess what, Green Spider? I've got some nice little coats of vial for you. So let me check this vial at him. So I will roll that red die. Okay, here we go. I rolled a S symbol, which for me does nothing. But nice thing is, poison still happens, and so is break. So he does take one damage and is poisoned. Okay. So poison, he'll take a damage every time he activates? Every turn, he'll take a damage. Every turn, okay. Until he's dead. Yep. Okay, bad news is we have to do encounter card, and he's probably going to come attack me. Oh, we might attack right. you, actually. Before I go? Yes. Where is oh. Yes. That's the downside of doing this plan. Activate all blue enemies. Otherwise, all engaged enemies perform an attack with their sword. Close combat? Uh, yeah, so this their, mate, their primary attack. But he's not engaged. Correct. Is he? he does not do anything. Yeah. There's a little breathing room the for us. The luck has shifted on this <laughs> chain, on this game a little bit. Okay, so now it is your turn. Okay, so I am going to. Well, maybe I should do the charge thing first. Sure, you can charge thing. Okay, I'm gonna do that. So what do I roll? This oh, red dice. I need red lightning dice. bolts. Lightning bolts, come on. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. No. Nothing. It's alright. Tried. So now I'm gonna run up here and jump swing axe attack. <laughs> hey Baron, <laughs> thanks for joining. Hey there. This is our second attempt, by the way, Baron. The first one was It was bad. bad. It was bad. It was so bad. Alright. I'm axe attacking. Um so that's two damage, but it's gonna be just one because it's nighttime. Correct. But I get to roll a blue die and add whatever to one. Yep. Okay. It's coming back. I'm learning. That is no one damage. extra, so he's taking. There's no armor, just takes two damage. Two damage. Yep. So he's almost dead. Yep. The nice thing is, he has four health, that poison's gonna kill him. Oh, good. So, good but kid. he does get an activation, so I think you're done, right? Yes. Did you move? Did you attack? Yeah, I think you're done. I did my yellow action. Hey, Dan. <laughs> yeah, Baron shows up once a dungeon crawl. That's so <laughs> true, Dan. <laughs> so true. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Baron loves his dungeon crawls. He's so on one stop co-op shop. He's the dungeon crawl master. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, the game can be brutal. Game doesn't fail. Forward. This game, it that's a good question, uh, Dan. It it depends on the quest. Some quests will tell you to fail for it. Other ones say you have to redo it. So, so <laughs> okay. So but like we both died. We yeah, it's pretty. So it, was, it, it might as well just start over. Go ahead and flip the encounter. encounter. Yep. Activate all M enemies. Magic otherwise, enemies. Yep. Yep. Otherwise, all heroes must shift one used Celtic knot back one. Boo. Okay. Not me. That's me. So my power's going to take longer to regenerate. But he doesn't do anything. That's fine. So he's going to die. Yes. So that was your turn. Now it's the event turn. The event turn, we just take this card, discard it. And now we do time phase. Time phase, guess what? Poison triggers. He dies. Boom. So we get. We get an experience uh, point. 
Over there? Yep. Two. <laughs> you too much spider bait on the first attempt. Yeah, it's yeah. so true. So true. All right, so we did uh, you can take that guy off the board. Um, and that was it. So now we do time phase. My ability's going to trick. Trick. Okay. Click. And that's it. Oh, get my magic shield comes back. Okay. Keep Just going. Me. Nope, not yet. Okay. Now it's our turns. So we can do what we want. Um, well, those two, it's a, it's going to be a spider and a grappling. Not necessarily, because there are um, citizens in the deck, or in that. Oh. So it could be uh, just some some NPC walking around. They're like, they shouldn't be out at night wandering <laughs> around, but okay. With spiders and gremlins, yeah. 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 Um, so the other thing is, this spot here does is hindering terrain. You need two movement to enter that spot. Well, I am... I have four movement. So you can enter that spot. But if you one, do, two. you'll have line of sight on that. Well, I have line of sight. Is, do I, like, cross the no, void? No, don't cross okay. voids. I'm scared. Do I just stop short? You can stop short if you want to. I mean, you can charge up and try to heal any time. Oh, want. yeah. I should totally do that. All right. I'm going to go here. Stop so I don't get seen. Okay. Uh, I'm going to Roll a red heal. Eye. You don't have any charges. You have to go over oh. the charges first. So it can go on to the thunder or just like in general, like an area? So Kim's question is she wants to do her heal. Let me show you what she's talking about here. Um, heal act HP to target hero for each um, charge you have. But to get charges, she needs to do her ability here, the uh, anvil of thunder. So she needs to roll a red dice and get lightning bolt to put charges on here. That's a yellow action to do it. If you had two yellow okay. actions, you could do this and this in the same turn, but right now you only okay. have one yellow action. I see. So the the hammer is charging, but I can use that charge power. Okay. Exactly. You use it for extra damage, you use it for uh, healing. I understand. Yep, yep. What do I want? This Light. red die. Light bolts. Got one. Got one. Okay. Um but since it costs an action to heal, I have to wait. Yes. Okay. I'm done. Okay. I am going to do the same thing. One, two, three. That's all my movement speed. And I think that's basically all I have. I don't really have an action I want to do. So I will end it. So we do event phase. Wait, did this? Yes. Now it's a new event. Here we go. Anti-magic win. Until the next event phase, heroes and enemies cannot use stars, which I don't think we have any abilities that use stars. I do now. not have any stars. That's okay. But it says two or three players spawn heroes minus enemy enemies. So right now we have two heroes, we have zero enemies, so we have to spawn two enemies. What? Yep. Right now? Right now. Where are they spawning? They respawn, and this spawn punk is the only active one. There's another one off the board here, but it's currently upside down. <sighs> And here I thought we had like a nice calm turn. We did it until the event came up. So I have to draw two cards. Just am I supposed to be shuffling these back in? Not yet. Okay. So the last two. Yep. Green gremlin and a blue spider. <sighs> Stupid. Okay. Well, it's then... a terrible spot for them. <laughs> it really is. Okay, then it is our time phase. And then it's going to be our hero turn. Okay. They don't activate? No, because that was during the event phase. Oh. They only activate after a hero turn. So now it's our turn. Thank God you remember this stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a lot going on in this game. Yeah. Um. Well, if I run in there, these guys are going to trigger. Uh-huh. Would you like me to go first? And yes, shoot? please. Okay. I might be able to take out... Or do we back up and let them run? Um, I don't know about that. Okay. I feel like if we, I feel like the problem is taking on both of them is gonna be a problem. And if we can take out one of them, it's ideal. This guy only has three health. He's pretty weak. If I can try to take him out quickly. In fact, nice thing is I do have my ability here, my accurate shot. I spend my movement. In other words, I don't move. And I can do, I can reroll my dice and get boost damage. Okay. Kill, kill one of them. So, what I think I'll do is I'll do that plus my bow. 
and I think I will focus it. So I'll get an extra damage. So this is going to be one, two, three damage guaranteed. Which I don't even have to roll because I'll kill him no matter what I do. But if you roll and you get extra damage, one, maybe you hit two, go for the spider instead. Three. Actually, I do have to roll one damage. Oh, it's nighttime. Yeah, it's a nighttime. Yeah. So okay. I have to roll, I have to roll one damage to kill him. For the gremlin. For the gremlin. And that's the guy you're going after. I think so. Okay. Well, unless you really want me to take out the spider. But I don't then, think you'll kill the spider. Yeah, I'd rather kill kill something first. So, uh, minus yeah. the knight. Thank yeah. you, Robert. Yes, thank yeah. you. You guys are so good on this. Thank you so much for the, you guys are being helpful. There's a lot going on in this game. Okay, right, especially streaming, it's hard. So let's do that. I have focus. I'm not moving, and I can reroll my dice. So most likely I'm gonna kill this guy. And I roll two blues. So here we go, two blues. I need to roll at least a lightning bolt. <laughs> Thanks, Baron. I'm using my short bow. No wonder you're losing. That's the only weapon I have. It's only I got. Here we go. Roll the gremlin, so that is a critical, actually. That's awesome. I I can roll and re-roll any of these, so I will go ahead and re-roll the... I'll give the gremlin. So that's nice. I re-roll this one. I need a damage of some kind. There we go. There's a damage. So that's enough to, to one-shot him. I will... I could draw a critical, but it's not going to matter, because he's going to die anyway. So let's take him out. Okay. So then do we get... Uh... We get five gold and drops in that spot. Where is the gold? It is in this bag here. Do I get to take this up too? No, because it does not have experience on its card. Oh. So. And we got the metal coins, and here's the five gold. It drops there. Oh, those are fancy. Ah. Is this new stuff? No, we've had that stuff before. There's some heft. Yeah, it's a heavy bag. Heft to this. <laughs> it's a heavy bag. Okay, so at least I killed one of them. So let's go ahead. That's going to be the end of my turn. Now let's go ahead and draw and a. Encounter guard. So you go encounter, I go encounter? Yes. So activate all strength enemies. Strength enemies or activate up to two. Yep, so that giant spire is gonna go. Okay. The blue one. Which is this card here? Okay, so let's look what he does. This is the guy that killed us last time. Yep, he's at range one, two. He's gonna attack the one that has the most or the least amount of wounds. I have. Don't you do? I do. I don't your, have it on my your card. counter. I have one wound. We both have one wound, so we choose. I don't want to know how much he paid. I don't. <laughs> I don't. Baron, you're not a helping situation. We don't talk about how much you buy games with the wise around. <laughs> All right, so he's gonna move I'm one just, to two. Man, after Marvel, it's everything else just doesn't seem to be so much. I know. I think I'd rather have him attack me, because that way you'll have everything ready to go to kill stuff. Okay. You think so? Okay. Yeah. Hopefully I don't die. <laughs> they were part of the kick. No, they weren't. They weren't part of the Kickstarter. <laughs> the, the cardboard tokens were. I decided to get the metal ones, though. But yes. You still had to buy them. That's how to buy them, yeah. Okay. I mean, the other thing is you can try it, and you can avoid the slope. So, because you can potentially dodge it with your innate power. So it's up to you. I'm an innate power. Yeah, remember this? No. <laughs> you can save it and not be slowed. Oh. But you have the save too, don't you? For his no, attack? Not for slowed. Well, I think um you should take it. Because if I get slowed, then I can't go up and attack him. Yeah, and you if he knocked you down. That's true. Yeah. That's but true. if I go up and attack him, I'm gonna reveal those two guys. And well, he's going to most likely be in no, he's not going to engage. Yeah, because it's interesting. So, um, he's going to attack webs, and then if that's slowed, and there are no other heroes, which there are, he's going to move to engage and trap. So he's going to attack with the web twice. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. So he's going to attack with us twice. Why twice? Why? Yeah. Because it says, if there's no other heroes in this area, move to engage and use a trap. Otherwise, attack with web. Oh, so, so he's, he's attacking you he's and attack me. me. Whoever. Yeah, attack with web twice. So, all right. So, yeah, I guess he's gonna try web me. So, let's roll four blue dice, and he's got one damage. And I don't want to see a star. Just slowing. Okay, here he goes. That is pretty good because lost some misses, but he did roll the damage in the star. So he is gonna slow me. 
And then the one damage, plus one. So I have a magic shield, stop one of it. The other one's potentially going through. So I need to roll one defense to see if I can stop it. I did not stop it, so I do take a damage. So, boom. Okay, and he's going to attack again. I, have to heal. I might die. But he's going to web me, though, now, right? The least amount of damage? Um, that's true, actually. Yeah, he so would attack now you now. Now he's coming after me. Yeah. He would have moved, and he does the least at zero range, if not slowed. He, that's true, Robert. That's true. The problem is, we moved in, these other shadows would be revealed. I don't, don't think it was worth it, in that sense. No stars, so he web. Oh, you're right, Icing Death. Thank you so much. Because of the event, they don't use star effects, so they will not web me. Get I am that not out slow. of here. I'm so glad you guys are oh paying attention. Gosh, you guys are awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys are being great. Okay. So, yeah, he does not web me, so let's roll for the other attack. Um, which will be you got me, though. Yes, which will be you. So, one damage. Guarantee coming at you, and he rolls two, three, four. And I'm ignoring the stars. You know the stars. So he's got four damage coming at you. But I can roll three defense. One you block, so you have three coming at you. You can roll two blue dice, so you're definitely taking one. Why can I roll two? I can do this one, two, three. No. That's for attacking. That's an attack. Yeah. Right. You can attack with the shield. Oh. So you roll two blue dice, and you just need to roll... Two together. Okay. The shield one. and a star, a uh, lightning bolt. Lightning bolt can turn into a shield. So you Perfect. just take one. Um, four, one, two, three. Yeah. Okay. You just take one. I fall. So I got two. I'm down to five. Okay. That is it. He's done with his action. He will not engage. He's just gonna sit there. Okay. So now it's my turn. Now it's your turn. That was just your turn. Mm -hmm. I think it's a bad idea for me to move in there. Because I'm going to reveal those guys and I can't run away. That's true. I mean, but the problem is he's going to just attack you. And me. I think you have to attack him. Those better be just people out for a stroll. Maybe. He's six. I'm not going to kill him. You'd rather have him attack potentially twice? Wouldn't he attack twice anyway? What do you mean? He's going to do his web thing twice. Yeah, at, because we're at range 1, 2, right? Oh, yeah. that's true. We, yeah, you have to move at least. doesn't matter because I can't move. Yeah. So he's going to do the web no matter what. The only reason he's not going to do is if you're at range 0. And he would try to do entrap. Uh, the victor suffers knockdown, and then unless saved, suffers. So he's gonna knock you down, and then he's gonna bite you, and then run away. I feel like that's really that's bad. that's pretty bad too. These these spires are nasty. Do I just roll to charge up and then heal, or I could heal now? You could heal now. You heal uh, just one. I mean, I have. I could just do the thunder blow and try to super kill him. It says, uh, if slowed. only if slowed. Oh, oh right. Yeah, yeah you're, you're call. If the victim slowed, it will entrap. Otherwise, he's going to attack a bite and move away. That's true. Do I go in there and risk it? That's true. I feel like I did that last time and I got it. I mean, the risk is whatever you choose there, of course. But the nice thing is not everything's going to activate normally. You got that many times. You can go ahead and do it if you want. I feel like you kind of have to. So this is the, for the record, your idea. <laughs> Just saying. I'm going right here. Okay, flip those shadows. I'm taking this money. Can I take this money? Uh, no, because there's an enemy there. Wait. Uh, a citizen! A, Sweet! A citizen and a bad guy. Yep, just one? Yes. Okay, just one bad guy. So I shuffle these? Yep, shuffle those and draw another bag. So what's the citizen do? Nothing. Oh. It's a, just someone walk around. Okay. Why doesn't the bad guy just kill him then? <laughs> Jeez, you're not a hero. <laughs> nobody in the in some Don't alley. Ignore us. Go after that guy. Gosh. <laughs> no mercy. Okay, blue goblin. Blue gremlin. Gremlin. Goblin. Okay. He gets his power. Oh, he gets a power. Yep. 
Uh, he can fix energy weapon. Uh, okay, so let's help. So he's got a. <laughs> Let me help. Yeah. So he's gonna do a area of effect. So he's gonna hit everyone in his spot, and then if he rolls a gremlin, he's gonna knock everyone down. Okay. Pretty straightforward. That's not that bad. Like no, that's fine. So now. <laughs> nice job with the best right. second roll lands and PCs. Right. So true. <laughs> All right, I'm going to... I don't know if you're really the good version of this hero. You're trying to sacrifice NPCs. You should have been no, the bad I one. I have my angel wings. I don't care what... You judge me however you want. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to attack the spider. Yeah. But first, I want to do my charge. Okay. Because I might just smack him with a punch. You can't Let's use see. it this turn, though. It's a yellow action oh, to use yeah. it. Shoot, maybe I should not. No, because you can use a yellow action to give it guaranteed damage right now. So I would not use that yet. Not use this. Yes. I can do the yellow action to guarantee damage right now. Yes, you can use your yellow action to focus and get one damage, right? Or do I save it so that if one of us are on the verge of death, I have at least one heal? I have five what, life. What, I'm fine. What I'm saying is you can use your special charge up your anvil thing, but it only gives you one damage. Yeah. But you can use your focus to get one damage anyway. By default. So it's By better. Default. Okay. So might as well save it to get more. Yeah. Walking his gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. He was a he's a guy. He's his he's his pet gremlin. That's fun. Yeah, I love that ice ice and death. I like it. Yeah. Well I mean, yeah, you you could focus it. I don't think I'm going to, because I won't kill him. What else can you do with the yellow? Charge up? Charge up. That's fine. Yeah. All right. Charge. Okay. Two! Two charges. Boom. Fully charged. You get two more. You get three for your charge level. I'm just maxing right. it out. Perfect. Now you can really so now kill somebody. I'm going to throw my axe. Ideal. Can I also do the shield? Like axe shield combo? Not unless you have a power that says so. Okay. Just one, one item at a time. All right. So I'm only attacking once, and I'm choosing to attack with the axe. It's yep. one blue die. And you get the. One guaranteed damage because it's nighttime. Because it's getting rid of that other one. Okay. Crap. Shield does nothing, nothing, so just one damage to him. Yep. Okay. Yeah. One damage. Okay. Not the best Thor imitation swing. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Okay, now you draw an encounter card. Activate up to three enemies, then shuffle the encounter deck with the discard pile, and then discard this card. Yep. Okay. So three enemies are at activate. Um, the giant spire will do it first. It is going to attack you. Um, you're not slowed, so it's not going to do a trap. It's going to attack a bite. Does that poison? Do you ignore poison? Are you susceptible? Uh, oh, you're I'm susceptible, susceptible to, to poison. Ooh, that's not good. So once guaranteed damage. And two red dice. So you roll two red dice. Oh, nice! He didn't poison you. Oh, good, because that would have been bad. He only has one damage. Which I blocked. Plus one, two. So oh, you roll one blue dice. And you got a lane bolt, so you blocked it. No damage. And yeah. then it's going to move away one area. Yeah, I scared it. Right? Okay. That's cool. it for him. And then Mr. Gremlin. He's going to go. He's the blue one. He's looking at one, two, three. He can only see you, so he's definitely going for you. Move to engage. He's going to run into your spot and attack with claws. Ignore your armor. Two red dice. Ignore my armor? Yep. Two hits and a star. Star does nothing for him, so just two hits. So you roll yeah, two blue dice. See if you block it. You did not block any of it. I think two damage. Yeah. Uh oh. Good thing I have three charges to heal. <laughs> yeah. Um, that would heal. All the way. Yeah, let's heal three damage. Yeah, you can really full heal yourself. You can full heal either of us. Myself. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, so that is it. We're on to time phase, um, event phase, so this just falls down. And then we do time phase, which is. Good. Click this ability, and that's it. Okay, okay, I want to go first because I want to heal. Because when they activate, they're going to go after me, most likely. Unless you can shoot the gremlin. 
and kill him. He's got four life. I could potentially kill him from where I am. Um, Let me go and try to get him. The gremlin? No. I don't know. Can you see the spider? No, I can't see the spider. I can only see the gremlin. Most likely I can kill the gremlin. Do I believe you? Yeah, the the spider is going to be the problem because you're at range one. Yeah. But the problem is if right now we're not controlling that area, so the gremlin will get a free attack if you're at the range. How about you come into the spot? Well, no. It also, it has spines. The blue one has spines. I think I should go first and full heal. So then I'm going to get attacked. Like, there's no way around it. If I run away, he's going to attack. Or... And then I attack whoever's in your spot. Which may be nobody. Yeah, I think I should go first. Why? I should go first and try to hit the gremlin. And hopefully the spider doesn't activate. If the spider activates, it's going to not move. So I have to move, which means I can't get my accurate shot with my bow. You want me to run away and draw the spider? Potentially, or let me shoot the gremlin first, I think. I don't have three life. If you go first, I die. Fair. You want to heal and then... Yes. Okay, okay. I'm going to heal three. Boop, 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 boop. Full health. Yeah. Well, almost full health. What? You have seven full health. Very cool. Oh, I have one damage left. Yeah. Math. Okay. Um. And this actually goes to cooldown. Oh. So. I don't think you're going to go after your critical shot. I think. Well, I haven't moved. If I kill the Gremlin, I could run away. You could. I'm yes. going to try that. Yes. Try it. It has four health. And it's yet. nighttime. It's nighttime. One, 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 one blue die. Um, and, it's, to... and it's good against slashing. <sighs> <laughs> so basically, you roll a die and, and hopefully you get a damage or a, a life. I'm not going to kill it. No, you cannot kill it. There's no way you can kill it. But if I run away, it's going, it's going to attack me. Yep. So I'm not. I might as well try to hurt it. Might as well. Okay, I'm gonna focus it so I at least know nope. I'll do. You healed. Yeah. This has to be double lightning bolt. That's Maybe. why I feel like I should have gone first. You should just. Hey, we talked damage. about it. We talked about it. <laughs> no. She rolled a gremlin. Nope. There's nothing. Big old fail. Right. Nothing happened. I'm a sitting duck. Mm -hmm. Okay. Draw the encounter card. Green enemies activate, otherwise all enemies attack the closest hero in line of sight with their double sword. Okay. So what that means is you look at their cards, and on the cards they have a primary attack and a secondary attack. So right now the blue one's going to throw stones at you, and the other one is going to do its secondary attack, which is webbing. So they both are going to attack you with okay. those. So which one do you want to do first? Stones. Stones, so two, two damage. I'm going to block. You just roll one blue die. Oh, yeah. You take one. Not rolling good for your shot. Okay, okay. and then blood. the spider is going to web you, so one damage and four blues. Roll four blues. I'm blocking the one damage. Sure. So four blues. It has. Shields. Gremlin. One damage only. Okay, so I'm So roll, roll one blue and see what happens. No. Take, take a damage. damage. <laughs> <laughs> I healed one. Gosh. Oh my gosh. I, you have the great, you have actually good armor, but you just can't roll can't well roll for your defense. The darn. I know. These lightning bolts are eluding me. All right, but that's all that happens for them. So it is my turn. Actually, not bad draw. Only one att web attack and one stone. It's true, actually, Robert. That actually is a good, good play. I just couldn't do that myself. Okay. So I, I think I'm going to use my acro bow. 
so I can at least take out something. Okay. Okay. Or you really have to kill him. Yeah, I think so. So that is going to what? Oh wait, no, that was his other attack. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That's fine. So I uh, get plus one attack. Um, I might as well focus it for two attacks. Is one going away? One is going away, correct. So I'll ignore this one. So I've got two guaranteed damage. I'm rolling two dice, and I can reroll. Okay. Here we go. So I just need. Yeah, he has two damage. I do need to get two hits out of here somehow. Two more hits. Okay, I rolled a gremlin, which is actually really good because that is a critical. So I will reroll this one because I can reroll dice. And I got one hit. So I got three hits on him and one critical. So how this works is criticals happen as long as you get any damage, you get a critical. So you draw those first before they do any defense rolling. Um, doesn't have defense. He doesn't have defense. So. Okay, he's going to take three. And we draw one of these criticals. Let's see what it is. Hey, it's a hit. Oh, he's dead. So he's dead. Oh, thank you, Steve. So that was a lucky, lucky uh, critical. It was enough to kill him. Does, oh, we, and we go up in rank one. We get experience. Yep. So we have three experience. And I helped. <laughs> okay. But I think that's basically all I can do. Because I can't move. I use my moves. I could have run away. Wait, can I... I didn't move. Can I back up and run away? He would have attacked oh, you. Oh, he would have attacked yeah. you. Yeah. And that is it. So now we do the encounter stuff. Activate all engaged. Otherwise, activate all enemies using their plus regardless of range. Okay. So what that means is we look at the blue spider, and he's got this plus one. He's going to do this no matter what. Move up to two areas towards the closest hero, which is you. And he's going to attack the closest hero in line of sight. Which is gonna be you within three areas with web. So he's gonna attack you with web. Okay. So he Not bad. got no slow actually. So two dams coming at you. That's it. So your armor stops one of it and then you roll one die. Did not block it. Okay, you take one damage. I totally forgot. Thank you, Icing Death Spines. Oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I should roll. You should roll. One die. You take another yeah. damage. Okay, so I have five damage right now. So you're at two life. I have two life. Okay. You are not rolling well with your. <laughs> you haven't rolled a single shield for your defense. Earlier I did. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. Okay, so that was my turn. And now we do the event phase. Here we go. Carnage, until the next event phase, the first attack of each hero and enemy does a critical. Spawn, um, two people, minus one, it's one, minus one enemies. So we spawn nobody, luckily. Good. I wouldn't survive another bad guy. Okay, so that is it. We do time phase, so we trip or click our abilities, so you can take yours. And that is it. Now it's hero's turns. Okay. Do you want me to shoot at it? Or do you want to try to go? If I try to run away, is it going to chase me? It's going to do a free attack on you. It's going to try to get me. It is going to try to get you. I'm going to um, be a ghost lady again. What I could do is I do have my vial again. I might use this. I can go. I can actually help a bit. Um, I could get a vial to slow him down. Which might help. Or I could turn in. No. What I'm thinking about doing is getting this one, because this one will definitely blind it, no matter what I do. What is blind do? Blind means they will, they will roll a die, and I'll have to double check the conditions. But there's a chance they might not activate at all. Okay. I can do that potentially, or I can actually get my corrosive one out instead and throw this one at it, which would poison and it would do it would do damage for sure on it. And then I can actually shoot with my bow. Do both. I think I should go first. I think I can have yeah, a chance. Yeah, go of first. Him. Try to kill it with that thing. So let's not use this chemical knowledge yet. Um, let's just shoot with the bow. Um, I 
do think I'm going to save my action because to throw a vial it takes an action to do it. So let's do this. I get one. Actually, you're there, so I actually counts as an extra damage. Because I'm present? Because you're present there. Okay. So I get one damage from the bow. Actually, minus one. Cause let's just say zero. So one damage from you, plus one damage from this. That's two damage straight up, and I roll my two blue dice. Okay. Two damage straight up, and I roll two blue dice. Here we go. And you've already factored in the night time in that. Yep. Okay. And it's we do get a critical, no matter what. Okay. Maybe more criticals, depending on where we're Oh, another critical! So we get two criticals. And I do get a... That's awesome. So that's one, two, three. It's four damage and two criticals. Oh, the bag. Yep. So, so four damage. So he's at five. So if just draw another boo boo. Okay, here we go. Or poison. First one we get is he is blinded. The second one is he does less damage. So yeah, blinded. Okay. Does that go up here? Yeah, that goes up here too. So he has one life left. Yeah, I might as well I might as well go for the vial, right? Yes, yeah, save me. Save you. Save me. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get my corrosive vial. So then I can do this because my ability is a free action. So I can choose my vial card. I did not use my yellow action, so here's my yellow action. Oh, it's not that one, sorry. Yellow action is this. So I get a roll die. It's gonna do poison and break, no matter what the break's gonna kill it. Okay, so don't even have roll. Don't have to roll. So it is dead. And it drops five gold. Whoa. Whew. Okay. Why did you put that's the money bag? Oops. Okay. It was supposed to come out right. Okay. Five gold, it's dead. We took care of all those monsters. We somehow made it through. Somehow. That first go. Why do you get plus one for her being there? Doesn't she count as two for controlling air? Did I control the area? I didn't think I did because the bad guy was there. Oh, you're right, because she only counts as one. You're right. I'm thinking of something else. You're correct, Robert. So technically, I should roll the red die. Because I'm one damage short from killing it. You're correct. But you got damage. So, yes, that would take him out. Thank you, Robert. Good catch. Good catch. And it's all the same. Same that effect. I just needed one more damage. So, I did okay. have to roll. Okay. Okay, so that's it. We don't draw on combat cards. Did you want to move? I can't move because oh, I used my movement. Used stuff. Okay. Because I had an accurate shot. Yes. So I am done. Encounter? Yeah. Nope. No enemies. It's okay. your turn. I'm going to make the spider clear over here. I'm going to pick up some gold. Yep. Use for free. Not too bad. Do you want me to leave you some? No, you get to get all. It's fine. It's kind of part for the course. <laughs> okay. Huh? And one. Two, three. I technically have another action, but I feel like don't you I... have more movement? You took yeah. a yeah. You have four speed. I have four, but I feel like that's a barrier. I should wait for you for something's gonna happen. It's a story event. You can walk in there. and We can do see what it says. It's up to you. Wait for you. Okay. I'm gonna charge up. Uh, red day. One, One charge. Charge. Okay, your turn. That's it. Now we do the event. So it clicks down, and time phase. So we rotate wait, our cards. Wait. What? Don't you have to go? No, my I killed something, remember? That was my whole turn. Yeah, but I went before you. No, I went before you. You went second. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes, thank you. So now it's our turns again. Okay. Come yonder. Okay. I'll go one, two, three. Not as fast as you. Okay. And I haven't oh I can do dash before. There we go. Might as well dash. Is that your uh, my, my action? action? Yep. Okay. Okay, it's your turn. Should I wait for you still? No. Go on. I'm scared. <laughs> you gotta cross me eventually. All right, I'm crossing the threshold. What is this? Story event. So now we look in the book and see what it says. So it is 1.1. Okay, here we go. Uh, the heroes reach the city at first light of the sun. Beyond the gates, a vision of blood greets them. Swarms of gremlins and spiders 
are attacking buildings and people alike. Starting fires everywhere. See, they are attacking people. That was someone in distress, not a victim. You're like, mm. no, I didn't care about it. <laughs> Place event four in play and resolve it. So event four is it's daytime. So it's no longer night. Um. Yes, the best part of the story is they add time, which we'll Kim will see in a second here. Nice thing is, um, shift all used powers forward, so you get to shift your power. Okay, and we get damage back, which we really, really needed. Um, place two fire two tokens on location C and D. So I'm not gonna be able to show this to you easily because it's in the um, the mission log, but basically this is location C and D, these two spots, which are not on the board. So let's go ahead and move this so we can see everything. Yeah, you actually can remove that. Yeah, it's... Just take it apart. I'm using it. Okay. <laughs> okay, no, it's completely apart. Yeah, I told you. So we need a bigger table. <laughs> well, okay. you need more cameras. You need more cameras, too. Yes. Right. And we don't need any of this back here? No, just take it all down. Technically, we shouldn't be taking it apart, but I, I've played this before, and I know it's okay to take it down, so... Okay, so we put the fire tokens there and there. Stop, you're over the events. Okay, that's fine. We are... We can leave it like this for now. Okay. The two fire tokens there, and then remove that gate from the game, and then this gate becomes open. So this is a new spawn point for the bad guys. Play story event one, revealed side up, on top of this deck. Oh, wait, you just took story event two. Okay, there we go. So now we get more turns, which is nice. Because remember, there's a face of one when you flip it down. So this is what the robbers talking about, we get more turn time. Okay, it says, The entrance to the cathedral is clearly visible to the heroes. Yet, as they walk toward it, something attracts their attention. Some dangerous-looking humans clad in heavy leather armor carved with strange symbols and wielding curved blades are opening a chest on a cart. But as one, they turn toward the heroes. Shady character. So now you have a choice. Now this is where you've got soul nature, so I'll just show you real quick. So, so this is where you can maybe just choose what your nature is, but I like having people pick. So would you like to drive away the raiders, walk away, or fight the raiders to steal the chest? I feel like I don't have enough health to fight. Okay. Um, but if I, what was the first one? Just Drive, them, drive them away, away the raiders. Is that like fighting though, or would they attack me? I don't know. Walk away or fight the raiders to steal the chest. I feel if I drive them away, maybe they would leave the chest behind. Is that a thing? Maybe. Let's do that. You want to do the first one? No. Okay. Yes. Okay. Do I? That is a line. That's a line to your soul nature. But are they going to attack me? Because I would probably die. They might. I don't know. I feel like maybe I should just walk away. I just don't see anything. Okay, then walk I away. No, what do you guys think? Do I walk away? Drive away? I'm going to die if I fight them, I think. You only have two health? Yeah, that's pretty bad. Just with you rolling. <laughs> do I walk away or do I risk it and drive them away? I don't know. What do you think? In your condition, I would probably walk away. away. I see nothing. It's up to you, though. All right, well, I. Yeah, as much as I don't want to, I think that will. I'll do that. I'm not happy. <laughs> then choose the other one. No, choose, I'm going to walk away. Nature. No. I'm okay, walk okay. Away. After a quick glance, the hero decides the quest is more important than this minor accident. Turning away and continuing on. Oh, yeah, Robert says, I know the outcome. My vote is invalid. Yeah. I actually, uh -huh. I kind of know what goes on, too, because so I don't want to lead her too much, so. Um. Sorry. Uh, after a quick glance, she decided the question more important. Turning away and continuing onward, the heroes leave the humans to their destiny, whatever it might be. Shuffle one green raider in the enemy deck, or two green raiders if there are three more heroes. So we had to put a green enemy into the raider deck, which I believe I have set aside here. Okay. So we get... Um, which one do you want? You pick. You get shuffled into the enemy deck. I'm really curious what the what it would have been. Okay, 
And then it says, um, when the Green Raider died, to remove it from the quest. Okay. Then we have to spawn enemies. Spawn hero minus enemies minus one enemy. So there's two heroes, no enemies, so it's two minus one, one enemy spawned. Okay. So flip the enemy deck and see what we get. The hey, Green Raider. he comes out. So this guy does have a special um, power. Uh, Acid weapon. So he comes out with Acid Weapon, which does plus one damage, minus one armor, and does break, potentially. So, And he has Pierce Resistance. So any weapons that Pierce, which is my bow. He's good against my bow. So this might be your uh, four health, and he does drop you know, money and experience. Well, if we kill him, one of us can level up, which is pretty good. But he appears right here. So, did that interrupt my move? Can I still keep moving? You can still move. Yep. You can still move. Um, what is this? That is a search token. So, you, we flip it over and you roll some dice. And you might get something good, you might get something bad. That is better for me to do because I have a special ability where I can re-roll against with it. So, I, you, while you can go do it potentially, I would not. Especially on the end of it. Okay. So, here's the green enemy. Green AI. So right now, if he goes, he's two away from you. He's going to use aim shot, which he has a charge now. So he's going to do plus two damage and a critical against you. So you want to get closer. Yeah, and Robert's right. They're super annoying because they run away. Because this guy, he has a readiness. If any hero moves into his area, unless saved, it moves this enemy away one enemy. So you can try to run at him. He might try to run. Is four health? He has four yeah. health, yeah. Um I only have two running. I could heal one right now. The problem is if you don't get in close, he's going to Yeah, he's gonna use his aim shot and he's gonna kill you. Almost guaranteed. Okay. So the problem is you have to get close no matter what you do. Okay, so you have to do a save. So roll, yeah, you have to do your save. So roll, roll a blue, you need to say mine and both. A blue. Oh, a blue. Yeah. Good, because that didn't work. <laughs> that no, didn't work, work either. Okay, so he's going to move away one area. Towards you, or? Uh, this away. And then you can go after him again, potentially. Because that was one, two, three, four. Yep. That's my last move. Roll for save. Does not he moves away from me. I'm gonna have him run towards you. Okay. That is basically Oh, you have a dash. You could dash. Uh does that use my yellow special yes. stuff? Yes. I'm gonna use that to heal. Heal one? Yeah, because if he attacks me, I'll die. Okay, okay. So then go ahead and heal then. Or should I not? <laughs> that, that's fine. I'm gonna heal one. You heal one? Okay. Yeah. That's no, that's not worth it. Okay, then don't heal one. That's not worth it because this heal goes. Is it's better gonna, to get is, more charges. Is he gonna attack you or me? He's gonna attack the. If you look at the card, the most wounded. He's gonna attack me. I think that's what that means. I'm going after him. I'm dashing. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Now I can't do anything. Yep. Okay. So, uh, go ahead and draw, draw a counter card. <sighs> Activate all... Actually, you move. You dash with two spaces. You, you can move again. I dash with two? What? Yeah, because you're your special ability. Yeah, you can dash Up again. Up to two areas instead of one, ignoring hindrances. Yeah, so you can you can move into a spot one more time. It's I would imagine though that dash action is one swift move. No, you because you can you can in, interruption move. You can do it again. R go ahead and move in spot again. Okay. Hopefully you roll a save. You've not rolled a save like all game. Nope. nope. Gosh. Nope. All right, okay, he moves one space away. I guess here. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. 
activate all M heroes. Otherwise, all heroes must shift one used uh, power. Power. Okay. Back. That's fine. It doesn't activate at least. That's good. That's good. Maybe you can kill him because I can't do anything. Okay. So oh. it is my turn. I will. I will try to destroy him. So you can use my accurate bow. I will not move. Just like we roll my dice. I will focus it. And luckily I get my damages, which is good. So focus it. I do have um, so one damage normally, plus another damage, plus another damage. It's three damage straight up. He does have pierce though, which so, attracts one. Because yeah. this is a pierce weapon. So it's two guaranteed damage. Two guaranteed damage plus two blue dice and see what I get. Okay, here we go. Come on, Steve, just kill him. Come I on. I think I can, but we'll try. Um, I can re-roll this die, so Come I on, will. Steve. Okay, I got one, I got three hits. Not quite. Yep. No, he's got one armor, so he gets, he gets uh, two hits for me. Even less. Okay, that is... That's basically it. <laughs> I'm so dead. Okay, I can't move, I can't do anything else, I can't use my powers. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Flip the encounter card, see what we get. Activate all enemies in full health. Otherwise, all enemies and minions use their action power. Yes, yeah, so here's his action power. He's got Shadow, shadow Strike. If engaged, attack with secondary weapons and move one area away. So guess what? He doesn't do any of that because he's not engaged. I survived another turn! Okay, so that was that. We do the event phase. So this flips down. And oh, and these burn down a little bit. What happens to that? They just they're burning out. They're burning out. Once okay. the one goes away, then we walk through it. We can okay. walk through it now, but we get fired. Oh. Take your powers if you have any. You don't have any powers, and then it's our hero turn again. Get over here. Nope, moves away. Or should I move him that way? Yeah. You move back. That's fine. I feel like he'd be smarter than that. Nope. Oh wait, that was supposed to go this way. Yep. Are you? Why did? You, why would you not let me to go? Because I can actually shoot him in his spot. <laughs> Undo what you're doing. You're just. Just let me shoot him. No, I, otherwise. I can kill him without you, you running, chasing him after him. Yes. So this one we should talk before I do. Yes, this. don't go. <laughs> <laughs> but I did I'm, all that. No, just don't do it. Just don't do it. Because it doesn't make sense. Because you have a chance of him running away, right? Yeah. He won't run away from me. I just need a little bit of damage to take him out. I can take him out with him. You don't have to worry about it. Okay. <laughs> I'm just so mad at him for running. I know. All right. Okay. Plus, if he attacks us, he's got this acid thing, which is pretty bad. So we want to take him out. Okay, so I'm just going to do my thing. So I am same thing as before. I've got one, two, focus for three, three empty hits down to two because he's got piercing. So I've got two damage and I roll two dice. Here we go. Uh, two more hits is four, five. That's five hits, and he subtracts one, so it's four hits. He's dead. <laughs> See, so much easier. <laughs> he drops ten gold, and we go up a level. Yep, we get four experience, which means someone can level up. Yeah. Would you like to level up? Of course I would. Okay. But you did all the work. That's okay. But maybe if I was better, I wouldn't. I still have to roll the things. Yeah, you can level up. It's fine. What, that, what do I do? So this is how Kim's going to level up. So you can spend all four of that, go down to zero soul points. So you can take her dial and move it up to level two. So you get additional Are you power. Sure you don't want to use it. It's fine. Okay. You get additional power. So look into your... A bag of powers, and you can pick what you want. Oh, level two. Level two or one. Okay. So while she's doing that, um, I can't move. I did my, I did all my stuff, so I, I can't do anything. I just have to stay where I am. That seems okay. Yes. I think that's the choice. That's not good. Yeah. So. 
This, the one she stopped at is this ability. Let me show what she does. This is really cool. So, for free, you can activate this ability. You place three hammer tokens on this. So there's a bunch of these tokens on it. And then, um, to gain the Thunder Hammer's card. And there is a Thunder Hammer card in here. Right here. So she can activate this and summon her hammer, which is really cool. It's a new weapon. And then this lets her do this fun stuff. Um, and it'll stay that way. But the cool thing is, each time you can discard one of these tokens and spend a, a yellow action to perform an extra attack with this one. So this is one of the rarer times you can actually attack twice. Okay. So that's pretty cool. I think that's a pretty fun one to do. The other one's kind of interesting is you can become colossal. You can count as two figures, which is a good. So you can do more uh, uh, guaranteed damage that way. But this one's more fun, I think. I want to attack twice. Okay. So you are probably going to have to drop your axe or re-equip, which is fine. Okay. Not right now, though. Might as well. There's no enemies. Is that an action? It's an action. Yep. So. So free action to get your hammer. Just swap like this. Yeah. Um, put your hammer up there. Oh. Not your power. And your power gets three tokens on it. Is the star symbol a new cause? That doesn't mean you get a trait or something like that. It's true. Um, she would get a trait. Uh, but she already has a trait to begin with. So you get two powers plus a star, which is a trait. Kim chose to get the um, runner trait, so she has more movement. But the, if you look before here, she already has a star. So she doesn't gain any more traits. If you look at the very last one, this is when you get the, your second trait. So normally you only get two traits in the game. And when you get to this level, yeah, see here it's only one star. This one you get a super uber awesome trait. So normally you get like one normal trait and then an awesome one at the very end of the game. Good question, Robert. So if I have to drop my axe, it goes in my backpack? It goes in the backpack. Okay. Um, good question, Icing Death. You do not level up yet, so just hold on to that for a second. You get level up during the time phase. I, I totally missed that. Cool. That answered the question. So yeah, don't you're gonna do that. Nothing's gonna change. It just you can move around and do stuff. Okay. So are you gonna do anything else on your turn? I can't. Am I done? My turn's done. Oh, you did yours. Um... I yeah, I did everything. Okay. Yep. So I'm gonna do my turn. Okay. Do you want the money? You can no, have the money. You take it. Fine. You are so pitying. <laughs> it's fine. It's all shared money anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's like deal. one of your bank accounts. Okay. Yeah. One. To, I'm gonna charge. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. One. You get one. All right. All right. That is it. Um, that is it. We can do the event phase, and we flip the cards. We get divine gift based on the active heroes, which is yours. You're you're lawful, so one hero heals one hit point. So I'm gonna heal. <laughs> See that look. <laughs> I didn't do it. Just trying to heal. I'm messing with you. <laughs> <sighs> that was worth it for your reaction. Smart ass. <laughs> okay. So, yay. Divine gift. Okay. Then these click down during time phase. And then now you get to level. Okay. So, all my level stuff now. Yep. Now you okay. level up. Yep. Okay. And it is. Oh, this is available to me finally. Cool. Okay, we're ready. You go first. Do that thing over there. You think so? Can yeah. I get there? No, I can't. No, I'm not. Can't. I'm, I, I can get there, but I can't do it. No, I can't even get there. No, not that fast. I'll do this. One, two, three, four. I'll dash here. And I might as well use my vial. Let's see, where's my vial? Oh, actually, yeah. I'm going to get my, uh, my corrosive vial out again. I have a feeling we'll need that. Probably. Okay. Okay, my turn. I am done. I'm going to go one, two. I'm not going to open the door because you're going to do that thing. I'll do it for you. Okay. I'm going to charge, hopefully. Too busy doing cardio with the Raider to heal. <laughs> yes, one. yes, that's so true. <laughs> All right, I am maxed out. Ready Fully go. charged? Fully charged. Okay. So then that's it. Um, anything else happens, we can event moves on. We got two cards left. Okay. 
And we have to get to here? Yep. Do you want me to go for that or not? Do we not have time to do it? If only two cards left, I feel like not time. I can do it and move back. I can do it. Unless you prefer to just move on. Move on. It's up to you. Yeah, it's up to you. You're the one that's gonna have to do it. I like going for loot, but that's just me. I'm I'm so Well go for it. As long as you can come back to where I am. Oh wait, I can't use my curiosity ability because it costs an action. I only have one action. It costs an action to bash open to search, so I can't I can't reroll my dice for searches right now. So I should have done it after all? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, you could have done it actually. You wanna do it? You could have done it last turn, easily. Oh wait, but you charged up your thing instead. I did charge up my thing instead. I can go do it and pop back to my same spot. But then when I open the door, SOL if bad things happen. Potentially. How about I go first and then we find out what happens. Okay. 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 Opening the door. Trap. Each hero within two areas is is attacked by soul rank something. Yep. So you're at soul rank two, so you take two damage, I take one. Unless and suff and unless save suffers bleed. Bleed is really horrible. Okay. So, so you definitely I have want to, to save I this. I'm gonna try to save. Both try saving. Come on, lightning bolt. I did not save. You did not save either. We're both bleeding. I can't bleeding. save myself. Okay, so both bleeding. Uh, my bleed tokens are over here. Okay. Please. So bleed, I think, is this level. So basically it means anytime we do something or take damage, and then at the end of time phase, this is going to go away. Okay, so, so we're wounded. Uh, we do get damage though too. I suffer too. My magic shield blocks it, so. But I can't block it. Yes, you armor blocks one. The other one's coming. So you roll one more die. Yes. You're good. Okay. So the bleeding is the problem. Which I will double check and see what bleed does here. Um. Yeah, you take one hit point before each activity. And then in time phase, you decrease it. So anytime you move, you a combat attack, you open a door, anything you do, it's going to hit you. For Even my, my action thing? Yep, anything I should do. It's really bad. Right, let's see what also, this is. happens. It is an enemy. So what do you get? What do we get? Green Gremlin. Easy one, finally. Okay. So, now what do you want? Go up there and attack them. You're gonna take two damage. Why would I take two? Oh, every activity. And... Yep. I'll heal. No. You could heal. You have a lot. You could you could one shot them. With my hammer thing. My thunder hammers. The, no, you can. You have your charges stayed up. That for damage. Well, too. yeah, that's what I was thinking until you said I would take two damage, and then I'd actually down to one health. your hammer has range one. You don't have oh, to move. Oh, I don't have to move. That does have a range. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna take a damage for attacking. Yep. With my hammer, which is yep. okay. So you can take damage. Oops, and wrong way. Got two life. Yes, I'm aware. Oh wait, no, you have um, you have eight life. You actually gained one because you leveled up. So you actually have three life left. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Good. Um, I have to roll one blue and one red. And this is one damage automatically. And there's nothing that is bad for daytime. Okay. You could use your charges to increase more. No, that would be taking no damage to do that. Yeah, I, I might just roll. I'm just going to attack. Yep. Roll we'll see what happens. You rolled a knockdown and a, a shoot knockout. is nothing. So that's two damage and a KO. You can bash him away. No, you can't bash I him. Can't. So he has two damage and I knocked him down. Yep. Wait, that doesn't come putting it up here. Didn't, didn't one shot him. It was close. Um, 
You could. Do I have to discard one of these for resume the hammer? No. You can choose to take use your action. Did you focus your attack? No, you didn't. No, I didn't. You can choose to focus, use an action, spend a hammer to attack again if you want to. But you'll take another damage. Just a bleed. I'll or just you wait. can let him come attack you. He has to get up first, right? Yeah, he'll get. They ignore KOs, basically. And what's the point of me knocking him down? It ignores their armor, and they don't count as uh, figures in a space. So there's some benefits, but it's not that great. I feel like I should just attack again for a guaranteed hit, and then I'll heal later. Okay, you can do that. You can take a damage. Yeah. Okay. One more damage as you're aggressively attacking. Um, you don't even have to roll. But I want to roll. Okay, fine. Got him. And you bashed him against the wall. Yes. So you, did you spend... You gotta get rid of one of your hands, too. Okay. So you did kill him. Uh, five gold drops in that spot. Okay. Okay, and I think that's probably it. So you can go get that thing now. I could, but then I'm going to take damage. Oh, yeah. I don't think it's worth it. I think I'm not going to do anything. I haven't moved. Oh, I don't want to move yet. I'm bleeding. Yep, because you take damage. <laughs> We're yeah. bleeding. Bleeding is horrible. Okay, so that is it. Let's do the event phase. Uh, we get... Um, counterattacks. So right now we have two heroes, no enemies, minus one. So one enemy spawns. Green spider. Activate the closest enemy to the active hero, which is me. The green spider is going to activate it right away. Yay! He's coming after me. And where's the green guy? There he is. Okay. He is one, two spaces away. He's going to attack with a web against me. Okay. So he's going to roll three blue dice. Go ahead. You have what you need. Okay. There we go. Um, two damage and the star, which is horrible because he is going to try. To, he's going to slow me. So I am now slow. Okay, if the victim is slowed and there's no other spot, spot, he's going to move to engage, and then he's going to try and trap me. So here he comes. Boom. And trap says I get knocked down, and then unless save, I suffer damage. So I got to do my save. My save is a shield. So let's see what I get. I did not get a sh that, so I suffer damage. Help me! <laughs> okay. Anything else? And so if you saw that's not the first time you use trap. Okay, that's it. Okay. Yeah, so that's horrible. Okay. Now it is the That's it for the event phase, now it's time phase, and now our bleed goes away. Good. Okay. Did you do your turn? No, I decided not to do anything. Oh, I didn't yeah. want to, I didn't want to take bleeding. damage from bleeding. Yeah. Okay. So now it is our turns, and I'm slowed, so I'm basically just lying there, done. So I need you to kill stuff. He's got four. I could run over there. I could charge attack and basically kill him. Uh -huh. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to use my action for my thunder blow. I discard my number of charges to add that amount of damage to my next weapon attack. Yep, you do all three or just two? Or... I'm going to do all three because I can't roll for nothing. If you did all three, it's guaranteed kill. If you did two, you just have to roll damage on two dice. I think you just need two. Just two? All right. Two's good enough. Okay, I don't have as much faith in myself as you do. You just need one damage. All right. All right. Uh, one? Yep. Aha! Got it. And I got critical. critical, bash, and KO. So he's gone. Um, yep. But he rolled damage, so we're good. Okay, you get us a soul gem. Now we're up to one. Okay, so that was your attack action. You can and, do... it, and I used my uh, action action. You did. So you have a movement now. I'm going to move here. I'll gather our money to our bank. Okay. 
Um, what is going on over here? We don't know. It is a story event. You have to go into that room and see what happens. I should just wait for you to get up. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you're done? I'm done. My turn. I'm going to do a move to stand up. I'll run to that spot. Are you slow? Yep, that's the only thing I can do. Okay. Okay, and I'm not slow anymore. Okay, now we do event phase. Down to one card. <laughs> Gosh. Cutting it close. We're cutting close. Okay, time phase. I don't see anything for time. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to do this. I am going to make some room here because we're not going back. I guarantee you that we don't have time for that. Is that in the book? Okay, here we go. We're in this room. There is a. Okay. Okay, so now it's our turns. What is this thing? It's a. We don't know. It's a waypoint. We would walk in there and read what it says. There's also a locked door which requires a yellow, yellow action open and a chest behind it. It requires a yellow action to bash that chest. I let's I'm gonna just step on this thing. You can't there's a wall. Oh there's a wall there. Where is it? So I have to go down here. Yeah, All right, we're, we're triggering we're triggering. You wanna do that? You want me to go? I think you should go, because that'll probably die. Okay. I will run into there. Okay. Read and apply the story event effects described in the storybook. And it is one point two. Okay. The cathedral's entrance is a battlefield, a bloody floor strewn with the bodies of the guard, guardian clerics and gremlins. Near the sacred altar, High Cleric Claudius is surrounded by gremlins. But before anyone can react, one of the creatures lashes out, driving its claws deep into the old cleric's chest. The light in his eyes of the gremlin is bright and wickedly alive, betraying a malevolent intelligence that marks it as a chief. The heroes cannot do anything but avenge the High Cleric and kill the Abomination. Place the red gremlin in story event two area. Open the shrine. Um, if there are more than three heroes, spawn one enemy in story event two area. Spawn hero minus one enemies in waypoint two area. So this one is going to get hero minus two. Zero. One more enemy. Who's the hero minus two? There's two heroes, one enemy. So hero. Two heroes, minus one enemy, oh, one, one. We just get one enemy. Okay, blue gremlin. Okay. And play story event two on top of the event deck. Which you did already. And resume play until the red gremlin dies, and then we, we do the next thing it says. Okay. So where's the red gremlin card? It is over here someplace. Yes. So they both get special powers. So here's the red gremlin. I'm sure what he does. He's against slashing attacks. He gets some damage. And he, because we're playing 2-3, he has 6 health. Here's his power. Soul Drinker. Oh, gosh. This Emmy also counts as undead. Enemies are in the area with you. Uh, I thought they won waypoint 2. Did you try? Oh, red gremlin starts here. The other guy is in waypoint two. Yeah, so this guy's it's like this. Okay. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. So this is a new a new one. Soul drinker. This enemy counts as undead. When this enemy deals damage with its main attack to a hero, unless you save, they will lose um our experience. He drinks the souls. Okay. Yeah, power number two. Yep. Revenge. If an attack deals damage but does not kill this enemy, attack the attacker with a secondary weapon, then move away one area. So that's annoying. Okay. Okay. So what are you doing? Well, I moved in there. I am definitely using my corrosive vial. So I will... I'm not going to boost. No, I can't boost this. So I'm just going to roll and see what I get. Using it against the big red gremlin guy. So, oh, look at that. That's awesome. So, two damage coming at him. I poison him and I get to break him. So, is that three damage? Yeah, good luck. <laughs> that, that was a good luck, Robert. Um, so, how it works is we look at what he has. He has one 
Oh wait, the, this happens first, actually, the break. So because he's braked, he now has one less armor. And then poison's gonna happen, so he gets poisoned, which is poison one. And then this two damage is gonna happen. So he's gonna roll two blues to try to stop this attack coming at him. Okay. Okay. So let's roll those two blues and he Oh, I need to find his card. This guy has some annoying things too, I believe. Uh, here he is. Here's his card. Okay, so he has sharp spines. If this enemy suffers damage, all heroes and Zeri suffer one damage. So that's horrible. And he's going to activate um, at the end of each enemy turn. If the enemy was not activated, activate it. So he's pretty nasty. So he rolled a gremlin and nothing. So he takes two damage. Good. So takes two, and then I'm going to take a damage. So, yeah, that's, oops, not you. Does it suffer? Yes, I suffer damage. So you can't block it. Yeah, I can't block it. Yep, okay, just straight so up. He's only taken two and all that, even though you hit him like four times. Yep, I'm taking two. Okay. Okay. Can you put him back over? Yes, I can. Okay. Now the bad thing is I have no life. I can attack with my bow. I can't run away. Yeah, I'm getting in trouble here. You are. I can heal you on my turn. Might have to. What are you gonna do? I, you said you can't. I haven't. Really... I haven't attacked yet. I could attack my bow against this guy, I believe. Um, I guess you forget if I can shoot out of engagement. I don't know if I can. I don't think I can. Um, I have to check the rubric. Does your magic shield block the spine? No, because it's suffer damage. That's the problem. So if I attack him right now, I'm gonna die. That's a good question. Yeah, because it's suffer damage. It, it ignores all that stuff. Yeah, I think I'm kind of screwed. Because if I if I don't do anything, he's going to attack. Attack me. And if he... Because he's going to activate no matter what. He's going to attack with claws. He's going to roll three dice. And I... I could block it all, potentially. I have to get lucky. I could block it all. Yeah. Running into time, I gotta get go all out. I think yeah. I think you have to attack him. I think you have to attack and die. Well, he's he. You just said he's gonna attack you anyway. Well, the thing is, I can choose not to. Well, the blue guy could attack me too. That's the problem. So yeah, I think I do have to attack with a short bow and just just die. You may not die. I will. I suffer damage. I'm at one life. And you you have to attack the red guy. You cannot shoot at the blue guy. Yeah, for sure. But the nice thing is, um, I think because I'm at level one, I'm not. I'm gonna lose any. I'm gonna lose my stash item, which is nothing. Like it's not a big deal. And I'll come back to life. So I, I think that's what I have to do. I think I have to do the sacrifice play. I have to go for the bow shot against them. So let's just let's do that. Hopefully I hit them. Okay, so one plus two, and let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. I did not roll very good. Yeah, Rob's right. Yeah. If, if she can win, then we can win this scenario. You're exactly right, Rob. So, two damage, and that's it. There's two damage. He doesn't have any armor. He does roll two blue dice. So, roll two blue dice. He, he blocked, blocked it all. So, nothing happened. That sucks. Yep. Okay, so now, end of the turn, we draw the encounter card. Activate all enemies. All strength enemies. Otherwise, activate two. Okay, so they're both going to activate. So, red guy's going to attack me. He is going to attack me with three dice. 
Um, yeah. Come on, block it, block it, Two, block three. it. Three. Block it. Here we go. I roll terribly. Yeah, oh boy. Uh, that is not great. It is three damage. Okay, three damage coming at me. Magic shield stops one of it, and then I can roll two blues. If I roll two shields here, I survive his attack. You suffer one before he attacks. I suffer one before he attacks? Oh, never mind, he says, yeah. No way. So yeah, I only block one of it, so I take one damage. I am dead. I'm an else. So. And this is my soul, my ghost form. So um, I can potentially place loot in that area, which is kind of cool. Okay, so I am dead. Where's your ghost figure? Uh, I forgot to grab it, so I'll just use yours for now. Okay. So I'll be yours. Okay, there we go. So I am dead, and now this guy's going to activate. So he is... He can't see you. Aha! Yeah. I'm behind a wall. So he cannot see you. So what he's going to do is he's going to do his last one. Um, Move up to two spaces towards the closest hero. Yeah, so that's it. So he's just going to be on my spot. Yep. That's fine. Okay, that is it. It's your turn. Um, we're going to run out of How do we end this? Do I have to kill both the guys? We don't know. Do I have to get to the treasure chest? Where am I Where am I trying to go? You don't know. All you know is after the Red Gremlin dies, you have to read something. But you don't know what happens. I'm going to range attack the Red Gremlin. Oh, wait, I can't because the blue guy's in my spot. I was just going to check that. I forget, actually. I just played this the other day and I forget how that works. Um, if you can range attack out of engagement. So I was just, just going to look it up real fast. Um, blue. You can hit targets in the attacker's area or in any areas with line of sight. Robert, maybe you know. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I th you can shoot out of it as long as you can see. The question is, do they block line of sight if they're in your spot? I forget they block line of sight. If they're in your spot. Maybe they, because they'd be distracting if there's a guy right next to you. I don't think. I'd yeah, because do enemies will block line of sight. So I don't know if this guy blocks line of sight to him. I, I forget how that works. Yeah, I, I can't remember that one either, Laura. So I got to look at line of sight. But you, you can attack out of it. That, that is true. Um, it just depends if line of sight uh, takes, takes an effect or not. Um, the other thing is you can just run away. Will he attack me? He will attack you with claws. Two red dice. I block one. Well, he, he, you, he ignores one of your own. Oh. So two red dice. You have to roll two blue dice. But you could die. I could die. You could die. Yeah. I mean, but you're saying technically I can attack outside the space even if a guy is engaged with me. But, as long as you do line of sight, so kind of great. Which I have line of sight, but um, if he blocks line of sight, then you're essentially saying I cannot. Areas containing enemy figures aside from the target areas. Robert doesn't think it does block in line of sight. It says um, I don't think it does. It's only search through so many dungeon delete. <laughs> yeah, the developers. Um. You might be able to shoot out of it. I know you can't shoot further away, so uh, go ahead and I'm gonna do it. It's All fine. right, it's fine. House rules. I'm shooting that my hammer at the red guy. Shooting my hammer. Throwing it. Throwing it. Okay. Um, I'm tempted to do my um, guaranteed focus shot. Okay. Which means if I something goes wrong, well, I well, I wouldn't because you can th throw your hammers twice. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay, so one each. one automatic okay so i got two hits and a shield so this is nothing so three damage three hits against him and he has no uh, he rolls roll two. two blue dice so he has to save three he blocked one blocked one so, so two, damage. two damage goes through 
Okay. Um. And then you can do your action and spend a hammer to attack again. I am. Spend a token and my. And he action. has two health left. Can I attack again? That's one bash critical. So two damage. I bashed him and got a critical. Okay, so, so what does draw that the critical. Well, it's not critical. There's the critical. All right. Hopefully the critical's good. We'll see what it is. This might decide the game. Minus two health. Minus two health, which is Six. enough. It's dead. You got him. <gasps> okay, so. Now we have to do what this says here. It says. And keep this. Can I do all this stuff on the turn? Yes, you get two loot. So and two loot and two gem thingies. Yep. Where's the loot? Uh, in that side. It's underneath your phone. Oh. Um, story event. Spines for each two. attack that damage it. One point one two. Um, are spines though? I'm not it's, in the It's same only spot. in the same area, so yeah. that doesn't matter for this one. Thanks, though, Icing Death. I did watch that. It, he had to be in oh, the same area. He was area. in the same area. So. And he's a ghost, so he's yeah, fine. I'm dead. <laughs> okay. Um, 1.12. Okay. With this last breath, High Cleric Claudius tells the tale of the mysterious. Wait a second, that seems wrong. Didn't he die? Ooh. Want to see my loot chance? Yeah, what's your loot? 60. Gold. 60. Sweet. Um, with a 1.12. That's right. Okay. With his last breath, High Cleric Claudius tells the tale of the mysterious death of the king. His body appeared strangely light and pale as he lay dead. And to make matters worse, the royal heir has also disappeared. He continues weeping. Darkness invaded the lands. Count Dal and his guards fight to fight, fight in vain. Because the evil forces there are facing are not of his world, you are now our only hope. The ritual required the sacrifice of our most precious relic. But here you stand, your souls contained in the gems you carry, bound to the will of the spell. You cannot completely die, but neither shall you be completely free. Until... Why are you laughing? Because I died? Because you died. <laughs> but you're a ghost. You're not completely dead. It's very true. He's right. I am ashamed of this coercion, but to save the realm, I choose to curse my soul. The spell of recall will give you back your strength as you kill the evil forces while guiding you closer and closer to your aim. My life is over now, but I pass away knowing my destiny is accomplished. Now everything depends on you. The cleric Marcus, he will guide you. He will answer your questions. Farewell, heroes. Save this realm. I see that was out. Okay, so we finished it. Finished it. The party gains 50 crowns. In addition, each faith hero, which are you faith? Uh, yes, you are. Uh, gains a healing potion from the Emporium, so okay. you get a free healing potion. And then we go into quest two. So fifty crowns. What is that? That's money. Fifty oh. gold. Fifty gold. <laughs> yeah, I think that's like only only mostly dead. <laughs> only mostly dead. Only only close to it. So, uh, but yeah, that is basically it. Um, now. One thing we could do is I'm pretty sure on the second quest we do get to go to uh, town. And I'm tempted to... Sh Let me double check that real quick. Um, 50 gold. Healing potion. I'm pretty sure we get to go to town. Yes. Before the next one, we get to go visit town. So, if you want to do that right now, it might be nice so people can see what that does. Yes, and then can we I can have a healing it. potion? Where is that? Yeah, we can. All right. So, we're going shopping. There we go. So, I'll show you how this changes a bit in this version. So, now we have this really cool um, corium thing here. Let's see if we can zoom into that. Just zoom over here. And we there just we ignored the other blue guy? Yeah, he doesn't matter. Okay. So, when you enter, we get three times. So this works a little bit differently. There is some time counters over there some in that case. Yeah, right there. And we get this cool little token. So what we do is we get three time counters, we start in the middle. Okay. And then what we can do is we can move this to any of the buildings printed on this board. Every time we do that, we spend a time. And when we go there. 
Just look it up. Don't go back. <laughs> Can't be drawn up every figure. Oh, well. Uh, That's okay. We might have died. We might have lost. But thanks, Robert. I really appreciate you looking up. We'll, we'll play it right next time. <laughs> yeah, there's so many like little rules and stuff. It gets confusing. But anyway, this is really cool because you have this this interesting thing. And the camera's not going to focus on zoom in. I'll zoom out. Okay, so the cool thing is you can move around this board. And every time you go to these spots, you spend a time. And there's empty spots, so you can actually populate with other buildings in the game. So we can go hire a mercenary, for example, uh, to help out. But the nice thing is, in the Emporium, which is this giant stack of cards, um, you get a healing potion. So let me show everyone what that looks like. Right here. So Kim gets his healing potion. Uh, target hero heals four health. And it normally costs 15 gold, but you get it for free. Aha! Thank you. Actually, the nice thing is, with our characters, you are um, Faith and Strength, and I am Dexterous and mag Magic. So we actually have all the classes covered between our two characters. And the nice thing is, we get to spend all that money to go through, um, not the stash here, go through this deck to buy whatever card we want. You know, like lockpicks, uh, blue water, um, hammers to throw, armor, all sorts of fun stuff. It takes a while to go through. It's not really entertaining to watch on stream. I wanted to show you how that worked. So we can do that. We can also go, for example, uh, we could go to the um, Rising Pony. So we go to the Tavern and Gamble. Um, the other thing we do have as well is uh, uh, Bounties. Oh, let me show you this too. So there are Hollywood items in the game. So right now we have these three. And every every time you go into town to buy stuff, you can flip over three of them. So these are available to us to buy right now. Now, obviously, with the prices, there's no way we can afford them. But they're pretty cool because they're really powerful. And honestly, they're from Hollywood. Like, this one is from one of my favorite movies of all time. Gladiator. Good call. It should be obvious with that one. But they're all from um, uh, different movies. So, like, this one, you might be able to tell. Staff of the Grey. Lord of the Rings. Good job. And Death's Gift. Do I know that one? You should know this one. It's a wand. Oh, Harry Potter. There you go. Yep. So it's fun. They got fun stuff like that. So you flip over three of them. They're only available to buy like right now. And then if you don't, then you put them back in the deck, flip over three more. So this will change every time. The Emporium, though, is different because the items are always available as, at all times. So it, that doesn't change. Now there's also, um, um, we also have bounties. So this is something else I like to play with. So let me show you what those are real quick. So we will get uh, two of those cards. Oh, we never did bonds. We forgot to bond. I don't know what those are. I'll find them. You don't know what the bounties are? I must. I left them someplace else. There's too many cards on the board right now. We'll find them later. But um, yeah. So that's now we can buy stuff. I think we'll just do it off camera because it's gonna take a while to get through that stuff and figure out what. When, yeah. when should we have done bonds? You can do it during the game. You spend an action. And then, depending on what type of bond you want, you roll dice to, to do it. And so, you will roll soul rank divided by two dice. I believe. And so, if you're trying to be a romantic bond, you need a different set of symbols versus a normal bond. And you need to roll the same number of either lightning bolts or stars. And I like how this makes it see through. It's kind of cool. yeah. So we each roll one die, or however many die we would. Right? Yeah. So how it works, and I can, I'll explain it more so simply here. So like, but do you have to be in the same space together? Correct. So and then we roll dies, and depending if we want to be friends. If you want to be friends, you're going to roll soul rank divided by two. So right now we're going to roll one die. We need to both get the same number of stars. Okay. We do, then we become friends. And what you do is you randomly get bond cards. And I'll show you what they look like. They're pretty They're pretty cool. Um, so you need stars for the friendship bonds. Um, you need lightning bolts for the um, romantic bond. Mm -hmm. The difference is the romantic bond will give each person additional health in in addition to the, the bond card. Um, but it's harder to get. This is harder to get. So you will get stuff like this. This is pretty cool. So one person gets one, the other person gets the other. And they're, they're random. So like here, 
You can suffer health to heal the other person or target your ghost soul friend and roll dice if you roll the S, resurrect your friend without spending soul points. So there's some pretty cool ones in here. They're kind of fun. Um, Does that um, persist or yep. is there a way to like get a divorce? And, like... You can. So at the end of a quest, you will everyone will roll dice and if you roll gremlins, uh, same everyone rolls the same number of gremlins, then you discard your bombs. You have to reform them to, to fall out of favor. But yeah, uh, we forgot to do that, and honestly, with rolling one dice, it would have been really hard anyway. And the way I was rolling, I'm sure. It was bad. <laughs> it was rough. So, but yeah, that is Sword and Sorcery. That was a rough go, but we made it through somehow. Kind of. Kind of. I mean, technically, I should have attacked the blue guy. Yeah. Yeah. We Which kind of then, fudged, fudged that Then I think uh, we would have ran out of time. Or you probably would have died, because you only had two health with your rolling. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. You didn't roll a single... No, you were all blocked like once. I blocked in the beginning. Once, and that was basically it. It was pretty pretty rough. So. Okay, and that is going to end it. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I, yeah. I'm trying to... So, go ahead. off camera right now, you and I are going to go shopping. Yep. And pick everything up. Do you yep. want to take a picture of it and throw it up on Discord when we're done? Sure, we can do that. Um, If you guys aren't familiar with our Discord, it is free to join. Uh, there's a link in the description below. Uh, but there we we talk about all our streams and all the content coming out. So it's um it's been fun. Yeah, thanks Robert for joining us. I'm glad you had fun. But uh yeah, I'm trying to think. We I know we're not doing any more streams this week. We'll do one next week. Uh, we'll finish our Marvel one Monday and then this one Wednesday. So yeah, thanks Icing Death. You guys have a great night too. Yeah, appreciate it. Uh, also, thanks for the help on the rules and the reminders. So many things going uh, on. It's very helpful. And uh, Marvel Champions yeah. Friday. So with Peter. Next one with Peter. Yep. Yeah. Cool guys. All right, let's go shopping. Let's go shopping. Have a good night, guys, and we'll see you at the next stop. Bye, everyone. Bye.